the king. Follow his lead, repeat after me. I know they lurking, this serpent, this serpent, but I never worry, cause he got the keys, he let it bleed. I got the recipe, never gonna let any op get the best of me. Thought it was distance, but haters is next to me. Talk to the spirit, you know I've been heavenly. Company definitely show your trajectory. This ain't a diss, cause I say it respectfully. It's time to eat up, red like a speeder. Taking it deeper, and that's how it better be. I never let the comparison get to me. I just remember the promises meant for me. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another live cop. We are officially live. It is Monday. Happy April Fool's Day. Big salutes going out from the East Coast to the West Coast, all the way over across the pond. From our international viewers we are officially getting after it it is a new month <laughs> there we go april fool's job the chat already bussing love to see a big up jewel lido old school good morning fellas we rocking it this morning of course we're going to be getting after it this week kind of a low-key week we'll definitely get hit by a couple surprises both this week and the rest of the month Definitely got my eyes on a couple of the New Balance drop. Uh, it looks like um, Bam Bam Baklava, uh, Action Brunson, put up a story yesterday, and he had a picture uh, of the 1906 New Balance sneakers, so I do expect those to drop in the next couple weeks as well. Uh, then we'll go ahead and pop on over. Of course, we got a couple new SBs uh, as well. We got some more pictures of that Dior Greenwood, both the SB uh, Blazer as well as the SB High. Uh, we'll also take a look at that new dinner plate uh, Nike SB I wanted to get your guys' opinions on that one uh, then we'll go ahead pop on over uh, get caught up with the latest and the greatest uh, we get uh, we got a few uh, Jordans also dropping uh, in April uh, we'll get caught up with uh, the drop list for the Jordan side uh, we'll also head on over to the SLS Take a look at some of the highlights from Saturday night. Yuta Horigami ended up taking gold, um, but a pretty good performance by uh, all the skaters. Even on the girls' side, uh, there was definitely some good skating over there. We'll take a look at the leaderboard and some of the tricks uh, that did get the highest scores over there as well. We got a Basuda of the week. We got the uh, Ez Excel Cowboy. This thing is a skate shoe turned into a cowboy boot. You got to see this thing. Pretty hideous uh, as well. We got a new look at the Puma MB04 uh, as well. This one, I, I feel like they, they're they kind of getting worse and worse and worse. The MB01, uh, definitely my favorite one out of that whole collection. And, you know, the two, three, I feel like they've been kind of getting further and further away uh, from making it look better. Uh, but we'll take a look at the MB04 as well. Uh, looks like we got an early palace. Uh, drop list. Uh, Supreme is going to be dropping some F Palace shirts this week. So there's going to be smoke in the streets, it looks like, between <laughs> Palace uh, and Supreme. So we'll go ahead and unpack that. Uh, also take a look uh, at everything we got going on uh, down there. Uh, we got a new silhouette from uh, Vandy, uh, the pink. Uh, with a, it looks like a cookies and cream colorway. Uh, we'll go ahead and unpack that uh, as well. We got an Imran Potatoes collaboration coming up. Two new colorways uh, on that Vans New School. Uh, then we also got some more pictures of the uh, Kobe 8s also that are going to be dropping. Uh, we got a couple different colorways of those as well. Uh, we got a Kobe 8 dropping in April. or We got the Venice Beach uh, Kobe 8. We got some videos of that one as well. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look. I don't really like that one um it's my least favorite of all the kobe's we got dropping uh, but we'll go ahead and unpack that as well this morning uh then we'll go on over uh to take a look at mlb opening day i uh, see everything uh, all the player exclusives see everything that was worn on foot uh over the past weekend there were definitely some bangers uh, as well don't really love watching baseball, but I'll definitely tune in uh, to take a look at the player exclusives, of course. Uh, we got a wacky video uh, from Aiden Ross. He's in the new Sexy Red video. It seems like American Pie all over again. Uh, 25 years later, we'll go take a look at what that uh, deviant has been up to uh, as well. Bapes, 31st and uh, 31st. Uh, we're definitely having a problem with the speech this morning. 31st anniversary for Bape uh, this morning, and uh, that one couldn't be uh, more melodramatic as well. I couldn't be less excited uh, for that one. 
Um, and then, uh, last but not least, we'll uh, go ahead and unpack that Imran Potato Vans uh, new school uh, with the gum bottoms. Uh, those both uh, look in pretty fire uh, as well. Of course, we've got the Joe Fresh Good uh, 1000 also going to be dropping in April on the New Balance side of things. I never, ever <laughs> got my email from Hidden, so that was... I thought maybe they would have like figured something out. They they kept on saying that they were gonna go through all the orders and then send out the email. I yeah, we ended up not unfortunately getting a pair of the ASICs <laughs> from the weekend either. As most of you guys know that watched the live, uh, but I kind of had at least a, some good some good expectations. I was trying to manifest if if we couldn't get the W at least, <laughs> but it didn't work nonetheless. So we were left taking the L on that one. Uh, they will be dropping also on the ASIC site uh, this month as well for all my ASICs fans uh, that also missed out on the hit and drop uh, this last weekend. Uh, looks like uh, we just had uh, that Kith Clark's drop as well. Uh, anyone cop anything over the weekend since we were last together? There we go. We also uh, got, a, let's see, a couple uh, smaller drops uh, this morning. Uh, looks like a couple things dropped over on end. Uh, we got a couple Adidas uh, Review 3s. Uh, we got the uh, Adidas Harden 8. Uh, that's going to be uh, also dropping this morning. Uh, in the white and gray colorway. <laughs> there we go. Uh, hidden did you dirty? <laughs> no diddy. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, they, they definitely got me. No diddy. Murder, my boy. Brrr. Big up, big up. How we doing, player? April Fool's Day. <laughs> Let's go. We set in the trap this morning. <laughs> yeah, we haven't got anyone yet. But I, I am going to be on the attack, uh, you know, a little bit later. I wish it would have came. I wish we would have been bartending. I wish this April Fool's would have been on Saturday night. I felt like I could have definitely, you know, had the laid the trap a little bit better. <laughs> For certain. Hell yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Let's go ahead. Just kind of getting the windows uh, set up. Uh, shouldn't be uh, anything, at least, I don't even know if I'm going to cop anything uh, this entire week. I'm gonna, just going to go ahead and kind of put a, a temporary calendar uh, up there. Uh, we do got the Jackie Robinson uh, Air Max one. Um, the Fear of God collection, um, you know, I don't mind some of the drip. I'm, I'm not going to cop anything, um, but uh, if it was like essentials prices, I might have gotten one thing. Um, but we can definitely wait for the essential stuff if I do need to grab any basics. Uh, the ATL Air Max 95. I do like What do you guys think about the Air Max 95? The Drake shoe. I feel like, um, I mean, I, I don't like it, but I, it, it could have been good. I, I definitely see some positive um, attributes <laughs> to the silhouette. It's just meshing uh, the ones they did together, in my opinion, just does not uh, look very good uh, as well. Um, but we'll definitely uh, take a look. We also got the veneers uh, going to be dropping a little bit later in the month uh, as well. Uh, we got the Travis Scotts uh, at the end of the month. Possibly a military four. Shockers up uh, just for good luck. Uh, there was a couple uh, SBs uh, that it looks like they had some uh, sizes on over the weekend uh, as well. Um, just uh, taking a quick double look. Also, the Ronnie Feig Clark's collection uh, dropped a part of the Monday program over on Keith. Uh, go ahead and, and knock that one up real quick. Yeah, let's see what we got. Uh, over there, we're just loading up. Yeah, one of the colorways, uh, it looks like, yeah, is sold out. Um, but nothing we're nothing we're missing out on. I'll, I'll tell you that much, uh, right there, uh, as well. Let's go ahead and uh, pop on over here. 
All right, that should be Gucci. Okay, let's go right here, right here. All right, there we go. Yeah, popping on over here. Uh, the blue colorway uh, looks like uh, sold out. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Big up, Chef. Smoke puff clouds in the chat. <laughs> yeah, hot step to the garbage. That's some hot garbage with a little bit of dirt sprinkled on top of that. <laughs> a little garbage juice. Yeah, that one nasty. Most deaf. Most deaf. Let's go ahead and uh, pop on over just a couple sizes left of the yellow Clarks as well. They're busting out the comfies. Uh, looks like that size 10 is gone, so there's just like a size 5 and 6 uh, over there on Kith uh, as well. Uh, then let's go ahead, pop on over. I thought I saw a couple of the uh, City of Loves. Uh, those dropped. They did restock the Malachite Green. Uh, A6 Kayano 14 uh, over on JD Sports and Finish Line. If any of you guys got any points over there uh, or any got any of those dis, uh, discounts uh, from when they canceled the reimagined orders, uh, you can get yourself a pretty good deal on that Malachite. You can pick it up for 110 uh, if you got a $20 coupon plus the uh, $20 gift card uh, over there. Uh, and then, of course, uh, it looks like uh, over on, um, let's go ahead and pop that one up. Uh, is that Nike? Yeah. Uh, looks like Kinetic Skate Shop has quite a few sizes of still of the City of Love pack. I know those are also showing up quite a bit over on Postmodern 411. Uh, if you guys have been keeping an eye out on the Discord, uh, there's definitely been uh, restocks of the City of Love pack as well as that Malachite uh, SB. Uh, as well. That's a good one uh, as well. No kidding. Um, there we go. Um, looks like size is 8.5, 9, then 10.5, 11.5. I'm, I'm definitely digging the sizes that we're seeing. Um, even when I looked in my email from Premiere uh, this morning, I was like, holy cow. Look at how many dunks there are uh, over here. Here, let me uh, just go ahead and pop my email up uh, from, I think it was yesterday morning or this morning. And uh, just take a look at how many dunks are just sitting uh, over on Premiere. Definitely expanded there. Uh, they got a pretty nice, it's like, a you know, a safari print. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, pop our window so we can get that one up. Yeah, they got this nice green safari print or kind of like an ostrich pattern. Uh, the phantom light bone isn't the worst color. I don't really like the exposed edges. Not a huge fan of the materials on the on the quarter panel, but uh, they also got the uh, the Mickey D's, the USC uh, Nike Dunk Low. Uh, they got the olive one, and then uh, they still got you know, just a variety of just OG colorways that have dropped in the last couple months over there. Just sitting on the shelves. Something we didn't necessarily see a couple years back. So always kind of nice. Change the game up a little bit. Change up the landscape. <laughs> Speaking of uh, changes, we got some more leaks of that Nike SB. Which kind of got me excited uh, as well. Almost reminds me of the those uh, the Sour Apple uh, Nike SB. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, pop our window. Um, I think we got it up on the monitor there. Uh, let me just go ahead and knock that one up. What do you guys think of that dinner plate? 2024, we got the gum bottoms. Almost looking like a Kermit the Frog color. Uh, now, I do have the Sour Apples. I do have the Sour Apple. That, that's a really, I think, it even underrated one. Although the price has been, you know, slowly rising. Uh, I've worn them a couple times. They're um, a, a little bit tougher to match. They go perfect uh, with this sweatshirt, but I'm wearing... Uh, I got the Nike Dunk Bayous on this morning, but usually I'll wear my Sour Apple SBs with this 
this hoodie when I wear it, but I thought I would switch it up today with the the Nike Dunk by use, breaking the, these ones in a little bit. Beans, the weather's been getting a little bit nicer. We should be able to actually get out and skate today. Um, I think we're going to put out the rest of the ramps today at least uh, because it looks like in the 10-day forecast we're not going to get any more snow. Does it mean we still can't get a shower towards the end of April? Um, but at least the weather up until the 15th, you know, is at least staying right in, you know, about 50 degrees. Today it's supposed to only be about 30 degrees, but we're kind of, this today's the last day of it. So that'll be nice. Also, yeah, we got a, a, quite a few shoes in the backlog as well that we're going to test out. Uh, we got another gallery department colorway. Of course, we love that one. Also, that uh, we got the dime gallery or dime vans. Uh, as well, we haven't gotten to, to ride that one uh, quite yet. Uh, we got the new Ashad Wear colorways uh, coming out, uh, plus the two colorways that dropped already uh, at the beginning of this year. So we definitely have our work cut out, which which will be nice. <laughs> there we go. We cooking it up, baby. <laughs> it looks like a Ninja Turtle has me, right? Dude, that would have been, if it would be like the, uh, who is it? Michelangelo? <laughs> no kidding with the orange laces. Yeah, the, the materials, I'm, I'm kind of like, um, let's just kind of go take a look at. It looks to be like a long-haired suede. Um, and then you, the, the vamp kind of looks like it might be canvas. What do you guys think that, that's, that khaki color is? Yeah, almost like a, a canvas looking uh, material. But there we go. Hell yeah. Um, let's go ahead and uh, pop our window. Um, just to get that thing set. Um, I'll probably pop a bigger. I think we got a couple uh, more images of this one. And then we, we do have a couple. Of the uh, live, laugh, love. Uh, as well, which it doesn't look bad with the laces that you get. Well, we'll go ahead and pop on there in just a couple minutes. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Almost looks like it's got the dark green on the inside. These are nice. I like these better than the, the Live Laugh Love. Let's go ahead and pop up the Live Laugh Love up on the monitor. Because it looks like the the pur the purple paisley one and the live laugh love um, are going to be the next two that are going to be dropping. So let's go ahead and uh, get that one up on the big board. There we go. Ooh, we got another colorway of that. Yeah, we got a, a Dodgers colorway of the Wear Max. Man, they're they're putting some some nice colorways on that silhouette. Of course, uh, we also have this one dropping in April. Not a big fan of, of that one. Honestly, both of these I'll probably pass on. But I do like the way the Live Laugh loves. I do like the way they're looking with the different laces. It might be one I, you know, I pick up last minute. You got the rope laces there again. You're going to get them in the, um, the baby blue and the maroon. I'm trying to think what other SBs I got where I could uh, put those bad boys in. I know I got a pair of, of Stussy Air Max where the khaki ones <laughs> would look pretty sweet uh, if we are switching out the laces. There we go. Big up, Will, Mikey. Brrr. Good to see you, fellas. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, doll. Uh, we're just going to be working our way through. Speaking of... Skate shoes. Uh, we also got another good one from Imran Potato. Uh, you got the recycled. You got the speckle outsole on the bottom. Uh, overall, pretty good colorway. Um, again, I think I got them right here. This is uh, the Sour Apple one. Uh, even the materials on the Sour Apple one, it is a shorter-haired uh, suede, uh, but it is a little bit harder 
Um, not the best uh, materials, but uh, it does look good on foot, I will say. Um, but the colors uh, in the uh, dinner plate, the green looks a little bit more crushed, a little bit darker. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, pretty nice. Yeah, my, my bottoms are a little bit scuffed up. Um, but the gum bottoms, the gum bottom looks really nice with that color. I don't think you can go wrong with it. If I was only going to get one or the other, I would get the green one. I think we would go for the green one. That'd be a pretty safe option. What are you guys saying? <laughs> Marcus, is that uh, F Palace shirt real? Yeah, I guess it is. Um, popping over to the, uh, yeah, F Palace shirt. Um, I saw that one. Um, I believe uh, Dade put it up uh, as well. Let me just go ahead. I think I already got that up uh, over here. Let me just pop that one. Yeah, oh, there it is. Yeah. Um, it looks like uh, Supreme is set to drop the graphic shirt this week. Going to be available in multiple colors. That's kind of that's kind of a sweet shirt. I'm not gonna lie. Whether you like Palace or not, that is pretty sweet. The sour apple pack. There we go. We smoking on that sour apple pack this morning. By the looks of it, <laughs> smoke puff clouds in the chat. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Big up, Mark. <laughs> Hell yeah. Good to see you guys. Hey, we're gonna be working our way through in April. No better way to crack it off than with our first W of the month. That one might wait for a while. I don't know. Uh, just kind of thinking about some of the drops we got coming up. Um, you know, of course, we got the Kobe's on the 13th. Um, you know, I'm, I would cop the Kobe 6 or the, the Philly Kobe 4. I uh, would definitely want both of those uh, if we can get our hands on them. Um, but really, the all, all the other shoes that I would want to get my hands on are all going to be New Balance, is what it seems like. Um, and then uh, popping on over, I'm um, just taking a look at um, Bam Bam Baklava story. Uh, looks like, yeah, the New Balance, they've definitely been teasing a lot of pictures, so I would expect to see them in the next couple weeks. Whether we get all three colorways or not, you know, that's another question. But at least it looks at least like that rosé colorway is going to be the first one out the rip. Hell yeah. Uh, Marcus uh, Primo going crazy. <laughs> I need two. Yeah, that's a sweet shirt. For sure. Yeah, definitely one for the personal. <laughs> Uh, right now, yeah, all they got, it looks like, is just the, the two colors there. All right, um, and then I just wanted to go ahead and pop on over here. Uh, we got the uh, gum-colored uh, Imran potato. Uh, speaking of, some of you guys that uh, ended up ordering that uh, Air Max, that Oregon Air Max uh, player exclusive uh, from the Goat app, I'm super excited to see you guys get those in hand. Uh, also, we got a uh, new uh, Pazza Boys uh, collaboration. Looks like they just signed a deal with Nike as well. Uh, so, uh, any Pazza Boys fans, uh, looks like they got the belt. Uh, they got the Cortez. Um, and then they got an Air Force One. The belt is, the, the belt is sweet. It's got like that Sinaloa kind of look to it, that that Sinaloa pattern, or is that just like a Southwest pattern? Yeah, I'm not believing any polls today, <laughs> Murder. Let me guess. Let me guess what you just saw. <laughs> you saw the restock of the. Nike SB Jordan 4 and the Lost and Found. Because <laughs> that has been going around. <laughs> that has been going around. And, uh, you know, it is April Fool's Day today. So, I'm already, uh, you know, on the gullible side. <laughs> so, today's just a whirlwind. I've already gotten hit like four times this morning. Just had my heart just torn out 
Like thinking I was living in a dream and then it was like an April Fool's joke. <laughs> yeah. Then I forgot about it like 20 minutes later and I got I got God again. Hike Arumba. I tell you what. Hey, we definitely turn it up. On the SB side, I think, I don't know. I'm definitely going to keep copping the dope colorways of the uh, w the Wear Max. Um, that pink one. I also like the blue one. I, I won't be copping both of the blue ones. Um, but I definitely don't mind them. I wanted to get your guys' opinion on this one, actually. Um, let's go ahead and pop our window on over. What do you guys think of the Dior Greenwoods? Uh, there's also going to be a Dunk High. Uh, this one we don't talk about very much. Uh, of course, we did see the pictures already in 2023. Uh, we also got an in-hand look at these uh, as well. Uh, this is going to be a blazer. I'm not a big blazer fan, but I do like the look of this. Now, will I cop it? Probably not. <laughs> but, I, you know, it is a, a decent look for a blazer. I feel like it maybe covers up the worst part of a blazer. Yeah. Which is kind of, you know, the, the, the side part. I do like it better with a stitch in it. You know, whether it's like the Chanel diamond stitch. Just some texture there on the side. Uh, but nonetheless, he's going to be dropping with the uh, SB highs. Are these cops? Are these drops? What do you guys, what do you guys say in the chat? Hell yeah. There we go. Restocks, release news. Release news. Are they not, <laughs> they're not catching me today. Hell yeah. Well, you guys got to be my second line of defense in case they get me. <laughs> I'm trying to, uh, you know, trying to steer clear here this morning. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we got. Our window, uh, kind of at the uh, the outlook of this week. Uh, this week is looking, you know, besides the that the ATL uh, Air Max ninety five. I think that's going to be it for me. Of course, unless we come some Supreme on Thursday, one of those T shirts. Uh, but for right now, it's looking pretty bleak, uh, to say the least. Uh, just to pop up a quick little, a uh, little calendar. Uh, we, you know, we got the Fear of God stuff, of course. Uh, we got the D book. Uh, also going to be dropping. Uh, the Air Max ninety five not on here. Uh, that one also going to be dropping. I don't know if we got any other raffles for this bad boy, but let's go over to Alma uh, Manier. Take a quick look, real quick. Again, the Fear of God stuff's going to be dropping on Wednesday. You know, that's probably going to be some of the better stuff. But again, most of it's going to be passes for me. Um, it is going to be dropping. Some of it's going to be dropping exclusively uh, over on Fear of God. Uh, they already got most of it up. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, bu 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 take a quick gander. There we go. Yeah, so we got the, um, you know, these ones. Uh, you, uh, you, you know, I don't, I don't mind the, the silhouette, but, it, you know, do I need that? No, if I would, if I were to get it, I would just get it in the... Just all one colorway, you know. I do like the silhouette, though, uh, you know. Um, but is it something I need? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. But there will be some rivalry 86 highs dropping. Uh, and then we also got, you know, the uh, the black and uh, green uh, sneakers uh, as well. Uh, let me go down to a bigger picture of those. Uh, let's just... Uh, yeah, the rivalry, 80, uh, 86 highs. Also going to be dropping. <laughs> uh, might have, yeah, the Haven D-Book does look pretty good. He loved Kane Corsos. Oh, is that's, his, uh, that's his dog. Yeah, the D-Book is pretty. 
It's a pretty good looking shoe. In my opinion, it's probably the best looking colorway they've dropped. There's also that gray colorway going to be dropping. Um, but the black one, the Haven, is, is way better than that. And, of course, you know, it's got a, a pretty neat story uh, as well. Uh, let me just go ahead and uh, pop back over there. and We can take a look at that real quick. Take a look at the Poochie. See what kind of dog that is. And then we'll take a look at the April uh, Jordan preview as well. Uh, as we get rolling, if you guys are just getting here, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the Monday stream, baby. Monday fun day. Also, Travis Scott was uh, performing uh, in the Jumpman Jacks, a new colorway of that one. Uh, we got the first one uh, going to be dropping at the end of the month as well. There we go. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, pop up our uh, D-Books. Um, and then we'll also, yeah, the, the Narcos D-Book one. Uh, we, got the, we got the all-white one uh, as well. Uh, which isn't a bad looker. Also not a bad looker. All right. All right, let's go ahead and uh, pop this one up on the screen. Then we'll also take a look at some of the other uh, good-looking colorways on the, the D-Book silhouette. There's the Poochie. There we go. We got Haven in the house. I tell you what, I think I'll be the puppy. I think Guppy would be part of my, my first collab as well. There we go. Pinky's up. We, we'd, have to, we'd have to include Gup and all, <laughs> the, all, of, uh, all you guys. Yeah, it might have a lot of colors on it. Might be a wild one. <laughs> pass, uh, Marcus said he's passed on the Blazers. Oh, but he wants to see what the dunk looks like. Hell yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a look in just one second. Um, yeah, of course, uh, we got the... Chapter ones. Yeah, nice looking colorway. Best one so far. Looks like the materials also pretty nice. Even on the gray one that's going to be dropping. I don't really like the look of it, but it looks like there he is. There he is. What a guy right there. What a friend. <laughs> BFF, hell yeah. Damn, yeah, Haven's getting his... Getting his shine, baby. There we go. Yeah, Guppy would, would definitely be down to hang out with Haven. <laughs> For sure. Hell yeah. All right, um, let's go ahead and just pop right on over. Uh, we didn't take a look at the uh, other uh, SB. Uh, that's going to be the Dior Greenwood SB High. Uh, that's going to be these bad boys. Uh, but before you wrinkle your nose, they do got some some good, I guess, extra features on them or interesting features. They got the perforated holes on the toe cap that are a little bit different. Is it something for me? No. You know, it may be just for the collection. Uh, I, I do appreciate how they did thin down the ankle, though. Um, even though you do got a little bit more padding uh, as it's an SB on the tongue, uh, it looks like they did thin out the ankle, uh, which is pretty sweet. I'm just not real big. You know, I just don't love the colors, and, um, you know, I don't wear highs all that often. Um, but it's definitely going to speak to some people for sure. It'll probably be like the Run the Jewel highs. You know, if I could pick them up at some point for retail, uh, you know, we'll scoop them. Um, but but that's about it. There we go. Murder J Mac Gup collab. You know it. Hey, we gotta do it before before Guppy goes to heaven. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, we we've been on the grind. <laughs> First collab will be like a like a, <laughs> a sandal. <laughs> That'd be great. They only trust me with the slide. <laughs> oh well, hey, we'll take what we can get though. Hey, the Booger Sugar D Book One. <laughs> that is. Yo, the old Chapo. Yeah, <laughs> chopping that kilo. <laughs> yeah, see. Yes, sir. Um, but yeah, we're going uh they do got cool insoles. This looks like Papago Park. Hole in the rock, right here. Hole in the rock. I've seen this place. There's also a place similar at Papago Park. It doesn't have, like, the perfect hole there. 
It's like a little bit smaller hole, a little bit tighter. Uh, but it's a, it's an attraction uh, in Scottsdale as well. There's a golf course along. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. We used to go there and party quite a bit. <laughs> uh, I've been on that golf course more in a drunken stupor, you know, in the middle of the night trying to find my homie's house than I have, like, actually golfing it. <laughs> Oof da. Smokey! b b b b beast my boy. Good morning. <laughs> Let's go. Hell yeah. Is he really there or is it an April Fool's joke? <laughs> Good morning, player. Uh, my girl wants these highs. I'm passing. Oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, we got a, we got a lot of good ones going to be dropping in over the summer as well. For sure. And speaking of, uh, going back on over uh, to the D-Books. Uh, let's go on over to that Haven, and then I wanted to just pop up some of the uh, other uh, colorways, and then we'll go ahead and jump on over to uh, opening day and take a look at all the player exclusives uh, that were worn on opening day. There were some bangers, for sure. All right, let's go ahead um, and uh, pop on over. Uh, it's a good old Haven right here. Um, and then just to tell you, you know, just to kind of get a look, at how versatile uh, the D book shoe actually is, we actually have to go to this little chart we got up here. But imagine, you know, even if you think these look great, imagine the, some of the colorways you could plop on this bad boy. Sky's the limit with these bad boys. Sky is the limit. You know, give get a good collab on this one. I don't know why we haven't seen a D-Book collab. I mean, we got Haven on it. You know, we got Haven on the, on the, on the beat for sure. I mean, it's a good-looking shoe. I like the clear bottoms. I, it would be nice to have a little picture of the good boy. You know, a little, a little Haven, a little, little pick there. A little profile pick on the bottom right corner. Medial side. Definitely. The all-white colorway, though. Is is a pretty banger. That's a that's a nice looking shoe. You know, if you're looking for you know a different silhouette, if you don't want to wear your Air Force Ones anymore, the the white on white colorway is smacking on these. You know, a little bit underrated, I would say. A little bit underrated. Um, the Devin. Uh, the D book. Uh, one, yeah, let's go ahead and pop that one up. Let's take a look at him on court. It's a good-looking shoe. Not too bad. I mean, you know, I don't know if they're panty droppers, but it'll get the job done. It'll get the job done. I'd probably wait for a nice contrasting colorway, though, on that one, right? Even the... I don't know, I think the Yeezys uh, good look the... Look the best. The Yeezys in the Marty McFly colorway. They wouldn't even need to do a collab if they did the Marty McFly colorway. They could just zap that bad boy top to bottom and drop it, you know, without the official collab. It'd be pretty nice. I would take it. There we go. <laughs> Start acting like macho man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And practicing, yeah, definitely, yeah. Probably gonna be a pass. Probably gonna be a pass for me. Um, I, I again, I don't know what D book colorway I'm gonna end up copping, but let's go on over to the Puma side of things. Let's take a side step and look at the Puma MBO four. Man, I just. After the, the the MBO three, I what well, I think was better than the MBO two, so I think it's kind of went up and down. So in all fairness, it hasn't like been like all downhill, but I'm just there's too much going on with this one. You know, it's just like they just kept adding stuff, didn't do anything different, didn't start from scratch, and they just kept on adding stuff from the MBO three. That's kind of all that one looks like to me. 
Uh, Smokey goes, yeah, the Yeezy ones look the best. <laughs> he goes, the other, yeah. The Yeezy ones, for some reason, just fit that silhouette, like, pretty nice. Pretty nice. But, yeah, the Dior one, I don't like. I would say the off-white one I don't like. Um, the black and white one's not bad. I, the Travis Scott one I don't like. I don't mind the um, the orange lobster one. Isn't terrible. But yeah, the easy one just kind of, you know. I, I The Union one's not terrible either. Like, I would probably cop that one in that colorway. Um, the, the Chunky Donkey just doesn't look great with a... You know, like a mid. <laughs> it kind of looks a little off. <laughs> oh, murder. He goes, he goes I, I need a panda colorway. Murder. <laughs> He's like, hell no. Get those as far away from me as possible. I almost wore my purple, my purple sneaks this morning. With, with my fit. I almost wore them because I've been, you know, I've been, I've had them outside a few times. So I was going to rock those. And I was like, ah, they look kind of like a. A panda dunk, so I'm going to relax on those <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I would be down to cop that Yeezy colorway. It would be dope if Kanye, if Nike, means we saw Kanye wearing the, the Nike gloves over the past couple weeks, it would be dope if somehow they do get back together, if if they could work something out on the D-Book silhouette to bring that, that Yeezy 2 back. <laughs> Almost impossible, but it would be, uh, it would be dope if they could make it happen for sure. All righty, let's go ahead and hop on over. Uh, of course, uh, last weekend was opening weekend uh, over in the major leagues, and Jordan Brand took over opening day. Uh, we got a ton of sweet uh, player exclusives. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, go down the list, take a look at some of them. Uh, we got, uh, looks like the Jordan one, probably going to be the most popular silhouette. Uh, this one going to be the off-white Jordan one, uh, looking like the uh, MCM. It throws me off a little bit, beans, beans are high tops. I don't love this one. I think they would. Pr I think this one has maybe has to have the the off white strap. Yeah, I I mean I do like the MCM, like the tennis shoe, um, but I just don't love that that uh, player exclusive. Uh, then we got a Jordan One custom here. This one looks pretty fire. Uh, we got kind of a. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop these ones up on the uh, big screen so I can just blow them up a little bit. Uh, I think that'll work a little bit better uh, for us over here. All right, yeah. Um, the first one, of course, so you can see it a little bit better there. Uh, the off-white MCM. Um, and then let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Uh, kind of like a, you know, San Diego theme. There we go. All right. And then uh, we got the Jordan 11. Uh, we got kind of the Jordan 11s in this interesting, interesting print. Tough to see the the real details in it, but I would definitely take that one. I'm a big Jordan Eleven fan. This one almost looks like the Pazza Boys. Kind of looks like the, that Pazza Boys pattern uh, that they got. I don't know if we can uh, compare those two. Uh, I think we could. Let's go ahead and pop that one up. Um, yeah, I think we can just put it up here. Uh, anyone cop anything over on Cortez uh, over the weekend? Yeah, kind of this this Potsa Boys pattern. It's 
a little different. Um, just it, like the pattern they got on the belt, like that pattern. I like the pattern on the 11s better. Um, but definitely a good looking shoe. Definitely a good looking shoe. Ooh, these look like the Soulfly Jordan 13s. This looks like almost a customization, uh, customization that we got last year. Or that was already two years ago now in 2022. Uh, we had the Soulfly Jordan 13s. Very similar colorway, way different materials. Way different materials. On this one, it looks like we got kind of a patent leather. Uh, real shiny on the upper. Uh, whereas on the Soulfly Jordan 13s, they got like a long hair suede on those bad boys. Uh, but those ones are pretty dope uh, as well. Definitely not my favorites. Uh, then we got the J Belvin Jordan 1s. Um, I, I almost like this one better in the cleat. Especially with that, that Pittsburgh uniform. Yeah, these ones definitely lookers, especially on the on the TV. Primetime coverage right there. Yeah, that one is definitely going to be up there. Uh, then we got another Jordan one. Uh, this time we got a Dodgers blue colorway. Uh, looks like it's almost like an Aztec pattern. We got kind of those diamond patterns. Um, and then we kind of in Dodger blue and gray colorway with the uh, red swoosh right there. I don't really care for those ones. Um, and then uh, we got kind of just a basic here. And we going just to the panda colorway of the Jordan 1. Still looks really good with the uniform. Definitely can't hate on the fit. Definitely can't hate on the fit. Looks like even going and getting it on the ground a little bit, putting that vintage look on the on the uniform right there. He almost should have had the Nigel Sylvester's on. Nigel Sylvester's would have given it a little bit more of a worn look, would have really fit in with that dirty uniform a little bit better. Uh, but nonetheless, ooh, dude, down in San Diego. Man, my boy Rob got all kinds of good player exclusives down there in San Diego. <laughs> Hell yeah, the Padres are definitely dripped out. Yeah, the Jordan 11 right here kind of got like a, a Tony the Great look on this bad boy. The second uh, cool Jordan 11 that we've seen on opening day. Pretty, pretty dope. Right there, we definitely need some of these customs to drop for the public audience out here in the streets. Uh, then we got uh, the Dior, or a pair that looks like the Dior Jordan ones. I guess they don't really look too close to them, but they do got the silver highlights uh, on them, silver and black. They do look pretty dope with the with the Yankees uniform, though. They do look pretty dope with the Yankees uniform, kind of almost like a smoke, uh, like a smoke silver color, uh, mixed with that black colorway. It would have been, it would have been sweeter to to put the Dior colorway and the Dior logos on the swoosh, especially with the Nikes uniform. I feel like you got to do that, and you got unlimited <laughs> unlimited amounts of money. Shit, show me what she's working for. Uh, and then, of course, uh, we got uh, Fernando Titus Jr. Um, in the Tiffany. These are my favorite ones. Always got to save the best for last. Hey, there he is. There's smoke puff clouds in the chat. <laughs> oh, no. We got a no ditty. <laughs> Holy shit, Smokey goes, those Jay Melvins are wrong. No ditty. <laughs> there we go. Smoke puff clouds in the chat. There we go, my boy. Back in the building. Let's go. Hell yeah. Big up flock. Jordan 1, the yin yang. Oh, the black colorway. The 13 cleats are insane. Yeah, those were those were pretty fire. Definitely pretty litty. Um, yeah, then we got the Tiffany's ones. Tiffany's ones are are too good. Oh, those ones are the best. Look at the laces, got the silver laces and everything. Got the flat laces. Holy shit, those would suck so bad. 
the flat laces to tie those. Oh, those would be awful. Especially uh, to pull them on, but they do look good. Definitely look fire with the uniform. Three. High drive, deep left field oh! for Fernando. And he kissed it goodbye. Yo, my boy hitting the long ball. No diddy. The 2024. In the Dior. Oh, sorry, in the Tiffany's. That's what we like to see right there. Yeah, I feel like Miami and San Diego had the most drip this morning. Miami and San Diego had, had the, definitely the biggest drip. No diddy. There we go. Turtle Dick Larry. <laughs> Sorry, Turtle Dick Larry. Slash Larry in the house. <laughs> big up, big up. How we doing, player? Hey, man, we uh, working our way through Monday. Checking out the drip uh, from MLB opening weekend. Of course, yeah, these ones are good. Man, I would like these in a tennis shoe. Look at the materials on these. Even better than the Air Force Ones. But yeah, the laces, the laces would have to go. It almost looks like a pair of the Mason Margiela laces, <laughs> right? From the Tiffany's, you know how the, uh, the white pants kind of had that silver tint to it? I feel like those laces might have that same magic in those bad boys. <laughs> but yeah, I got to go. Uh, my favorite pair of the day got to be the, the, the Tita's and Co. Dude, that's even sweeter with, with the special packaging there. Yeah, those are, those are pretty cool. Those are pretty cool. Dang, I wish we could have gotten those for the public. I would have even probably worn a pair of cleats. Even indoors, if they would have dropped these bad boys. Nice, nice suede material. Yeah, the only thing I would probably switch out would be the, would the, be the laces. Just because you know those things are taking an extra two minutes to tie up. Yeah, oh, Marcus, no shit. They look more like the Aprils. They do. Oh, speaking of the April skateboards, we have a literal, uh, like a uh, like one of those uh, cheaper SBs, but they're in the same colorway. <laughs> I just I I picked it out for a joke. Let me see if I can pr uh, pull up the picture. <laughs> there we go, Dalil. Smoke puff clouds in the chat. What's goody, my boy? <laughs> there we go. April Fool's Day. We getting litty. There we go. Roll them up and smoke them. <laughs> it's that time, baby. It's that time. Go time. <laughs> Let's go. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, pop that one up, I believe. Um, Let me go see if, if I had that. Uh, I would call it the cheap cousin of the uh, April skateboards. Uh, I hope I did not delete that uh, that slide. Yeah, I don't think it would be up that far. Uh, let me just double check here. But God dang it, like the colors were super, super close. Uh, to that of the April skateboards, but it was definitely a bit off. And it was, it's, it's just not very, uh, it's not very pleasant to look at. Um, but I'm not seeing it in my, oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh shit. The fly. <laughs> All right. All right. So. This was going to be my plan. This was going to be my grand scheme of things. You know, you know, I, I like to save those pennies every once in a while. <laughs> I fly go. He sees it. Uh, mayday, mayday. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that is the cousin Timmy Shoe. It so is. Just screaming it, too. Yeah, this might be the only April Skateboards one that I can get my hands on. Oh, would that be, that would be a tragedy. <laughs> yeah. I saw those, and I thought of you guys right away. I'm like, yeah, here we go. <laughs> there we go. These are Liddy. 
I'll skate in these, especially if I can't get my Aprils. Oh, man. That's funny. Yeah, so at least we got... <laughs> At least we got a backup plan. And you know we can wear these sockless because they are the flyies. Let's keep it a hundo pundo. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and uh, pop our window. All right, yeah, we, we got to be careful navigating. Definitely got to be careful navigating the the news today. But I have to... <laughs> I have to bring these up because if you guys want a review, you know your boy will bring you guys an in-depth review in 4K. If you guys want to see it, you let me know. But we have the pioneer of technical skateboarding footwear since 1895 has wrangled with challenges of plenty to craft the perfect ride. <laughs> These are, uh, might be the perfect ride in the marketing description, but uh, panty droppers, they are not. <laughs> Hunter, my boy, coming in hot. There we go. Hey, I figure we're talking about the b -b -b beasts. We're talking about the basudas uh, right now on a Monday. I thought this one. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, this. Has to be an April Fool's joke. Uh, if they are doing an April Fool's joke and they got me live. Yee <laughs> yeah, Hunter. Yeah, we saw it. But do we believe it, though? Now that I'm seeing this, and I was so excited to show you guys. Because we need a review on these bitches. Even if you guys don't want one. <laughs> I I think it is my job to make sure that you guys get a good review of these bad boys <laughs> hell yeah there we go we making some noise over on twitch <laughs> mr good kj hey, yo how was how was uh how was denver uh big singer con in denver over the weekend hell yeah hey yo uh, the bulldog <laughs> these are the bulldog specials i don't know I don't know, but I, we need a review on these. I got to see all these. Damn, they even got... Oh, they zip up. <laughs> oh, they got even a tribal print on them. What are we doing? Oh, yeah. We got to get a pair of these, though. Yeah, these are actually called the Excel Cowboy. You know they're coming home with your boy. We need at least a review of these. <laughs> we need a review for sure. Hell, yeah. Hey, man, pretty good weekend. I can't complain. I mean, I spent most of the weekend kind of, we are kind of on our last snow melt. So I'm kind of, you know, been busy kind of, you know, laying out the snow so it melts a little bit faster. Setting up the ramps. I'm going to set up the rest of the ramps, I think, today as well. So then I'll have a, another place to skate, which will be nice. Also, you know, um, I got a couple uh, sneakers I've been holding over the winter um, to give a nice little skate test uh, as well. So it'll be nice. Most definitely. We've been waiting for some warmer weather. Yeah, Flaco, I know. Is that? <laughs> All right. He goes, the Flaco goes, I saw the Gamma 11s being released. Three stocks of Lost and Founds. <laughs> Jordan 4 SBs. Uh, Dalil, who they made by? Well, they're supposed to be made by S. Um, now, I don't know if, like, they said that they're available. So, let's see. Are they calling these the penny, too? No, is this them? Oh, no, it's not them. Um, No, so I don't see them here. Um, The penny collection, yeah, I would imagine. Um, I don't know what they're going to be called. Uh, the Wade for Thunder? Yeah, Um, these are officially called the... Yeah, they said they have them at your local skate shop, Western store, or sskateboarding.com. Oh, no. Don't do this to us. Oh, they got them. Oh, it was not. Oh, they're $500. Oh. Holy shit. 500 bucks, guys. No way. Don't even tell me they're sold out. 
This has got to be a joke. Is this a joke? Size 11. Size 11. There are no sizes left. <laughs> there are no sizes left. What What do you guys think? People getting caught today. Fuck. They've gotten me like three times, and we've only been going for like an hour. Um. Yeah, let's see them. Hey. All right, I'm going to quit playing that music. All right, well... For 500 bucks, there's no sizes. This has got to be a joke. <laughs> I don't know what to think about it. Because there's no sizes left. Yeah. Excel cowboy, baby. Yeehaw. <laughs> I'm telling you, camera. <laughs> Pull that cop to ball. <laughs> They'll be reselling for like 1500 That's funny. Hell yeah. There we go. We're getting ready for ATL. Speak it. I like the transition. You read my mind, my boy. <laughs> Hell yeah. Speaking of ATL, uh, we have the uh, ATL is going to be dropping this week. Uh, we had a couple, I believe there was four boutiques uh, that mashed together uh, for this special colorway we got coming up again. They're going to be dropping uh, this week. Let's go ahead uh, and pop our window. On over here, we'll get the best uh, picture of these bad boys. Um, but yeah, they're they're definitely all right. I don't know. I'm thinking about copping these. What do you think? What do you guys think of these? Um, I think they're like a a, a must cop. Well, you know, these, now, we're going to show you a pair of Cortese. Um, we got some good Air Max 95s. It's going to be dropping this month, or not this month, but this year. Uh, let me go ahead and scroll uh, on to the bottom, of course. Uh, we got a picture of those ones uh, as well. Uh, these are not the official pictures of the Cortese 95, but it is... Uh, the mock-up of the colorway. So, you know, I would I would like to say I'm just going to hold out for those black and yellow ones, but they are pretty tough to get the mitts on. Another a pretty hard, or uh, they got at least two hard colorways, uh, is going to be the Central C uh, Air Max 95. They also had a, a yellow colorway as well. Yeah. Uh, Hunter, I like them, uh, but I pass. Uh, I'd get those uh, green teal ones. There we go. Yeah, the uh, the Tiffany's blue. For sure. Just, I think they were, what, the black, gray, and then that little bit of that light teal or that light greenish color. Yeah, those, those that's a nice colorway as well. That's a nice colorway. The material is going to be a little bit different, but... Yeah, um, also on the back of these, um, they do have the um, the uh, ATL uh, bird on the back, I believe. Yeah, this this bird and the Nike sign and stuff uh, is all 3M uh, right there on the back tab uh, as well. But we got some, again, we got some good uh, 95s coming up. Uh, Flock, don't rock 95s. I feel like 95s are worn a lot more over in the EU and the UK. But I tell you what, I, I can't deny a good colorway on that 95. Like the Almaminier colorway looking pretty pretty proper. You know, if they come proper with a good colorway, I'll usually pick them up. Even the OG neon ones, I definitely don't mind either. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hunter, the, my dad would love them. Hell yeah. Uh, if 90s weren't so narrow, I'd, bu I'd buy more. For sure. Yeah. I mean, I just think even right now, I mean, with ASICs and New Balance really turning it up, I just think the on the comfort level, um, I'd way rather go with a New Balance or ASICs. Like if I only had to pick one and I had to, you know, was going to wear it all day. Now, I like the looks of some of the Air Max 95, so I'll pick them up. But as far as comfort is concerned, I'm a, I've am ai been a big fan of, you know, some of those newer New Balance models. Uh, and we do got some good, you know, New Balance going to be dropping in April as well. 
both new models and old models. We've got some good collaborations coming up. Joe Freshgood never disappoints. Action Brunson. Yeah. Uh, Hunter said the only Air Max I'll probably get is the uh, Jackie Robs. Well, let's take a look real quick. Yeah, the Jackie Robs look like they're going to be dropping on the 15th. I like that colorway. That's a good colorway on the Air Max one. Uh, they also have the gum bottoms. Uh, the veneers are going to be restocking on the on the 24th uh, as part of that Ugly Duckling pack. You know it. Uh, for all you guys over in the EU and UK, next Monday, uh, you guys got the Chicago and the Celtics uh, going to be restocking. Uh, EU and UK only, though. Uh, Flacco, I go New Balance. Some come wide. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, New Balance definitely comes wide and extra wide. For sure. I know, like, when I want to go something really comfortable, I either go to Yeezy or New Balance. I either do the 700, 350s, or New Balance. Um, and I can do a few different New Balance, but if I want them on the comfort level of, like, a, a 350 or, a, like, a Yeezy Wave Runner, for example, I would definitely have to go with like a 990 v1 v2 990 v6 993 uh, any of those models um, even the, the 1906 I mean they're not quite as comfortable uh, is a 990 v1 through 6 um, but they are still pretty comfortable especially for the price uh, and we got some really good colorways of the 1906 and the 860 v2 all going to be dropping this year um, and all those, again, it got the same midsole on them, whether it's the New Balance 2002, 860 V2, or the 1906. And I believe all of them are right in the 150 range as well. But, yeah, we definitely got some some bangers coming up uh, as well. All right, let's go ahead and uh, pop our window uh, on over. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, move uh, to a different window. Uh, we talked a little bit about those uh, pink Ashad wares. Again, if you weren't here uh, the other day, uh, let me go ahead and pop these up. Uh, the Bubblegum Pink uh, Wear Max. Uh, we've been seeing quite a few different colors in the Ashad Wear Max. Probably my favorite is going to be this black and gum pair on the right side of the screen. And then, of course, uh, we got that uh, Bubblegum Pink colorway. We also got the Verde you know, colorway. That's also a really good colorway. I'm probably just as excited for the Ashad uh, Wearmax Verde collab as I am for the SB collab. Hell yeah. <laughs> Bought a shoe stretcher <laughs> at one point. There you go. Yeah, shoe stretchers are pretty sweet. I got to work with one when I worked at it when I was with the Bundy of Nordstrom over there. They had, um, yeah, they were like a big hoof. It's a wooden thing. And, yeah, you can, you can stretch that thing. Like, if you don't put a little thing, like, to stretch the bunion, then it's just, like, a regular shoe thing. And then, yeah, just straight. It's like a vice. And then you just crank it, and it just stretches them out. <laughs> I never knew how much they would be. They're, they have, like, probably, like, 20 of them, that, like, behind the counter at Nordstrom. There would be, like, 20 of them right where you would walk in, all different shapes and sizes. But <laughs> very interesting. They definitely work. <laughs> You need a little Vaseline, though, to moisten up the leather a little bit. Soften her up a little bit. <laughs> Yo, Jimmy, can you check if Wookie? Um, uh, Chung, uh, uh, check if Wookie, uh, Chung isn't, yeah. Absolutely. Let me go ahead and uh, pop on over. Make sure I'm looking in the right place over here. All right, bear with me. Let me just go ahead and get the. Uh, there we go. I should be able to pull it up right here. All right, there we go. All right, let's go ahead. Pop that open. I believe it's right here. Um, 
All right. Uh, you said it was um, a woogie. A wookie. Chunk. Chunk Chindu. All right, yeah, I think um, Chung, yeah, I must have, uh, let me go ahead and click in on there. Yeah, it, it was definitely, um, he, oh, okay, I didn't, I didn't see it on des- Discord. I definitely didn't see it on Discord, um, but it looked like, yeah, it was uh, in there. I didn't see the Wookiee, though, old, um, old school. I didn't see the Wookiee. Um, I'm not sure it, it could have. Uh, it could have been, like, most of them in here are just, like, bots. Um, like, you know, Tender's Life and, um, like, Roscoe Scam's 15-year-old to spend on. Just a bunch of, like, crazy names that have, like, came in here, it seems. Like, Dead Stock, Rock Hard Cock. <laughs> that one's in there. Um, Ryan the Heel takes BBC. Like, stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, that one was uh, on the bottom there. Um, but I, do, I don't see the Wookiee. Uh, in there. Um, but yeah, there's just a lot of like for a while. Um, if I wouldn't go to subscriber only mode, it would bring a lot of bots in. And then see, they would just come with like random accounts. So um, to stop that, I just had to go on like subscriber only mode. Um, but um, yeah, we always uh, if someone would get banned. Usually we would. Uh, usually gets brought to my attention. So. Yeah. Uh, Flacco said, that's my troll account. <laughs> that's my troll account. Yeah, so. Yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> he goes, that's my troll. <laughs> so, yeah, so sometimes I guess they uh, end up in there. Uh, Vucent. Oh, is there something that happened? All right. Yeah, we'll have to probably talk about that. I didn't. I didn't know that. Yeah. I wasn't aware of anything, um, but yeah, we'll um, uh, definitely uh, catch up uh, after the stream, for sure. Oh, you're just joking. <laughs> he goes, I'm just joking. Oh, uh, I wasn't, well, it, 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 there definitely are some, but that's that's mostly what it is, you know. Yeah, for the most part, uh, yeah, mods doing the best job they can. De- stuff definitely gets, you know, put, um, you know, in the, in the. So every once in a while, they like it'll go in there on accident. It's happened in the past, but yeah, you guys just gotta bring it to our attention uh, and just let me know, um, if at all possible or uh, if you a- have any questions. For sure. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, because I really don't mind, even if you guys, you know, t- like, I don't mind even if people talk, tell jokes, rip on me. Like, I, th- none of that matters to me. They they know that, though. The mods know that. I can take it and, rec- uh, and receive it, <laughs> for sure. Hell yeah. All right. Yeah, and if you guys ever have any questions, like I said, usually, um, uh, usually, yeah, just if you have any questions, just uh, ask. Uh, would probably be the best way, just to make sure, because uh, stuff does get, like I say, get put in there um, by accident, um, quite a bit. Not as much anymore. But when we had, like, when we had more, like, there would be, like, one 900 girls, like, all the, I don't know, we got a bunch of, like, the, not only fans bots, but it was more like the stuff that you would, like, pay to, like, to chat with, 
you know, like the chatterbait stuff. So we haven't really been getting it since I've turned on the, like, subscriber-only mode. It's usually been a little bit better, but. Most dev. <laughs> yeah, no Diddy. <laughs> did, I, did I forget it? No Diddy? <laughs> but yeah. And sometimes if we're not all caught up, like I said, just bring it to our attention. And, um, you know, uh, if you don't talk to me, one of the. <laughs> yeah, now back to sneakers. For sure. No, but I, I appreciate it bringing a, um, appreciate you guys uh, letting me know, you know, just in case it was on accident, right? I don't want that. All right. Um, what else we got going? Ooh! We had the SLS series uh, take place uh, over the weekend. Uh, not the best. I mean, we didn't see the best drip, I would say. Um, it, I guess Nija was um, a late no-show, or not no-show, but he canceled uh, last night. So um, Ryan DeCenso took his place. I guess he was on vacation there. But we saw some shit go down that was pretty insane. And I I will say Alex Midler um, caught me off guard. I mean, shout out to Alex Midler. I want to say it right now. Um, almost, almost beat Udo last night. Almost beat Udo. I'm just going to show you like the three best tricks. Uh, from the evening, even the girls were skating, <laughs> I guess, a little bit better. But yeah, that's not Yudo Horgami. That's Alex Midler. That's insane. That's insane. Honestly, when he did this, I, I mean, th I was just not expecting him to spin. And it, I don't know. I just wasn't expecting that trick. So... That's insane. Yeah, just it just as insane is the the Udo trick um that went down. This actually was I I think Alex Midler got the I want to say the highest single score. I think that was a 9. No, Br Brandon Holben. This was a yeah, this was a 9-5. Look at this. <laughs> Dude, that was crazy. He hit that pretty early. He hit that pretty early. Yeah, that's wild to get on the rail, flipping your board that way. That got rated higher than the 360 flip. Yeah, that that is insane. That was insane. And the rail, these rails were pretty short because, you know, they were trying to mimic a, a street spot. But, dude, we saw stuff get thrown down over the last 15 years. We saw more stuff get thrown down last night in an hour and a half than we saw over, like, 20 years of progression on the actual. I mean, it's in the streets, though, so you can. it's always hard to compare. Um, but, again, uh, Gustavo. Yeah, he got up on the hubba there, which is what? That's like at least probably four four feet high. Damn. Into the nose grind. So yeah, that was that was pretty sweet uh, as well. But um Yudo Horigami, of course, taking home gold. With the Nolly two seventy nose slide. Very similar to Alex Midler's. And of course, Udo been on been on the the Nolly two seventy no slide game now. One trick of the year for him last year, twenty twenty three. Judges said, "Hey, I'm not sick of that yet. I'm not sick of that yet." <laughs> bop bop bop. Uh, there you go. Vu said, uh, "Kobe raffle up on Hibbit Ribbit." Let's go. <laughs> he goes, "Get in now before I tweet it. It's too late." There we go. Kobe time. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to get in all the raffles. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop up the Hibbit wrap. Or the Hibbit.
Hibbit Ribbit. Yeah, I was looking for you in Denver. Now, what happened? I would have loved to went to Denver for sure. I needed a little bit more time to get there, but yeah, we'll definitely look at the schedule for maybe this summer. Sometime I'd definitely like to take, you know, a road trip. Um, even if it's not the one I, I plan to do across the whole United States. But yeah, we'll have to definitely make a couple of the stops. Later in the summer probably works the best for me. Uh, I guess it, it kind of depends where they're at. Smoke puff clouds in the chat. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's go ahead and pop on over. Yeah, let me just go ahead and pop this one up. Uh, let's get the Hibbit app open. Do, which ones do they got over there? Um. All right. Yeah, we haven't had Hibbit open in a while. There we go. Spread them open. We sliding in. Spreading them wide open. Shit, yeah. Also, um, anyone cop the James Harden's today? <laughs> yeah, we also had that that Steph Curry, the mouth guard, the blue mouth guard drop. I tell you what, that Curry 11, if, I'm going to try to pick up a pair on sale. If I can get a pair on sale, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cop a pair just to have for my outdoor, for the outdoor court. If I can get a pair for like a hundred bucks, I think I think we'll let it rip. Uh, we got another colorway of the Tatum too. Uh, we got the Jordan Nines up there as well. Let's go on down to the thirteenth. We should be able to get our hands. On, is anyone going for these? <laughs> Old school goes. Got to see it to believe it. For any raffle today, <laughs> tomorrow, uh, it'll be true. <laughs> Pondo, pondo. Uh, they also got the uh, the D books on there. Yeah, D books gonna be passes though. Ooh wee, let's go. All right, Kobe Venice Beach. Speaking of, I thought I had a little video pulled up. Um, yeah, let, let's because you guys should see these. You guys should definitely see these like getting unboxed, because I kind of like them even even a little bit more. Than I did uh, the first time I saw him. That's for certain. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, pop that one up. Uh, and then we'll uh, also take a look at that new Vandy uh, silhouette as well. Uh, I believe Vanessa Bryant gave a bunch of pairs to the Iowa women's team. There you go. All right, what do we got here? Vanessa Bryant wanted the Iowa Hawkeyes to have some Kobe's. Look at those! I mean, these ones are some different colors. These ones are probably the ones I like the least of all the Kobe's that are going to be dropping on the 13th, but I still want a pair. Like, this is my favorite Kobe 8 drop in this year. All the other Kobe 8s, like, you know, like, I feel like with that, the, the upper, kind of, you know, the mesh on the upper, I feel like you need, it like, a good pattern on that. Most of the other colors are either going to be gray, we got red, we also got that Lakers colorway as well. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not loving that one either. Uh, let me go ahead and, and pop it back up on, on the big board. Definitely want to start entering the raffles. Uh, just going ahead and popping on over uh, a couple of the other Kobe 8 colorways uh, that we uh, actually have coming up. We also got this one coming up. The Hollywood Knight, which it's not terrible. Like if you just want a pair for on the court or something, but I guarantee you're not going to wear the, the Kobe eight Hollywood night with like a pair of jeans or anything. I mean, you're not going to wear the Venice beach one with, for the most part with pants anyway, you know, that's definitely an on the court sneaker. I, you can get away with wearing the Kobe fours though. I, I'm telling you the girl dad, Kobe fours, maybe not the Philly Kobe four that's coming up on the 13th. You know, because that one's got a little bit more 
um, sporty materials. Like the materials uh, aren't quite as premium as some of the materials that we've seen them drop on the Kobe fours. We've seen a lot of suede materials, long hair suede, new buck. Um, and it looks really nice on that silhouette for sure. There we go. Um, and then I, I thought we had a, a great colorway uh, as well. Um, but, yeah, we don't have the – there was a gray and, and a red colorway. Um, let me go ahead and pop our window on over. Yeah, there's a gray and a red. Um, we're going to go ahead and keep up. Uh, Hibbit, if you guys haven't entered uh, the raffle yet, of course, Hibbit, locked and loaded. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. All right, then we got a couple more colorways of this one. Also, also a red colorway. The gray one's not terrible. Yeah. Um, this one also not going to be dropping until the fall. Um, yeah, this is another one I, I don't need, but I would take, you know, to wear on court. Um, let me go ahead and pop our window on over, uh, to that one. And you just got it kind of this darker gray colorway. First debuting in 2012. The eighth signature, uh, eighth signature shoe of Kobe Bryant reflecting its agile playing style. Uh, the shoe's going to be about 12 years old. Yeah. I just, I, I prefer the, the Venice Beach colorway just a little bit more. On that silhouette. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For sure. All right. What else we got? We got a bunch of... Uh, all right, let's go ahead, and I just wanted to go ahead and pop on over and talk about these a little bit. Um, we have the, <clears throat> we got the Imran Potatoes. Uh, Vans New School. Now, the these ones did quite the numbers when they first dropped. Um, now they're going to be dropping. Let's go ahead and just take a quick look over on StockX. Um, the first run of these were pretty limited, um, but they did do numbers. Um, and then, yeah, we just had, like, white um, midsoles on them. Uh, most of the uh, sizes on those, let's go ahead and pop up the black and white colorway. Uh, this was the first one to drop, and... Yeah, just some of the, the sizes ended up going pretty crazy. Uh, most of the ass are right or, right north of that $300 mark, depending what size you're going for. Bids and sales all over the place. Uh, but you will get a taste of the gum bottoms coming soon. Um, but they're not dropping any new colorways. I would like the black gum bottoms. Yeah, this is a good one. I would take a pair. I wouldn't pay extra for them, but for a hundred bucks, well, why not? Right? I think my dime ones. I have this pair. I'm, I'm looking at them right now while they're in the box, but I haven't worn them yet. Uh, the dime vans. I actually like my gallery department ones a little bit more. Um, just the colorways. Uh, but again, even these ones are starting to, um, you know, at least the, the ass are starting to go up there. I know my size, the last sale was in the, the $200. They must have sold one now. Looks like last sale, 118 Um, But just look in some of the previous sales. And most of them, if you could average them out, been right around the $200 mark. Uh, retail on this one was right around 120 Yeah. I wish I would have gotten that one in, in a size 10. That's the only mistake I made. Flocko goes, imagine them dipped into it, right? Flock, yeah, especially if you, if they were dipped in like the, um, these ones, Danny, the Duvagook. Dark Dubavook. 
Oh, I forgot what um, his name was. But, yeah, he dips all the shoes in rubber, kind of like Chad Muska. Um, I was going to see if we had a, a Timberland that had the um, the blue dip. Actually, I do. Let me go over to over here. And I believe there's one down here. Um, also, Blasi dropping a new stash. Um, he's got like these CD cases that um, we'll, we'll go over and take a look at the video of those as well. I'm just showing you the rubber boots. I believe they were uh, right down here. Yeah, there were these ones. All right. Let's just go ahead and pop on over here. Rubber coated. All right, let's go ahead and pop that one up. Um, yeah, I think we got, I just wanted to show, um, yeah, show them dipping them right there. All right, I'll just go ahead and pop that one. You're running out of shoes to wear. Yeah, they would look dope in, in like this stuff. If they would dip those on the on the outside of them. <laughs> hey, big up, Drew. <laughs> Coming in hot. Good morning. Happy April Fool. Uh, we're just about uh, 24, five minutes away from the top of the hour. But yeah, either either this dipped or the, the Chad Muska. Of course, Muska dropped a, a new colorway uh, of the Muska here about a week or two ago. Um, kind of this off-white colorway. Um, and then he also dipped that one uh, as well. Yeah, I don't know if they... There's more video of him dipping those. They did look pretty dope, though. They did look pretty dope. He also dips a couple of the skateboards. He always got a little interesting projects over there. <laughs> For sure. All right, let's go ahead and uh, pop our window on over. Oh, yeah, we got to get caught up, man. I got to get you guys caught up with this uh, ridiculous video, especially all my uh, 90s babies, uh, especially all my American Pie fans uh, from back in the day. Uh, let's go take a look what this uh, deviant uh, did with uh, in Sexy Red's video. Let's go ahead and take a look what Aiden Ross did in, in Sexy Red's latest video. All right, so it's her song in the background. I'm going to go ahead there um, and put it on. Dude, they got to be paying Sexy Red. Someone's paying her to hang out with these. Like, this is so not natural. Nothing looks more staged than anyone Sexy Red hangs out with, whether it's Aiden Ross, Banging the Pie, Drake. I mean, if Drizzy's, I mean, if that's really what gets his rocks off after being able to get any girl in the world, I mean, this is just ridiculous. Um, so anyways, yeah, you got Aiden right there, uh, taking a chunk out the pie. A pie? It's sexy red, bro. Like, what you would have to pay him to look this way in a video? I mean, I don't know what they had to talk him into. Um, but, yeah, uh, there you go. Aiden Ross playing a cuck uh, right there in the new sexy red video. Being a deviant on April Fool's Day. Who would have guessed? 
And God dang it, Hidden, I still want my damn sneakers. <laughs> I canceled my membership already. You know we went hard in the paint. <laughs> That's the paid promo these days. Fuck, right? Man. Even him admitting he busted that down, it's like, man, you clapped her cheeks, and out of all the girls you can, I mean, man, unless you just got, you know, that much time on your hands. <laughs> you know it. Yeah, standard. I guess. Yeah. I think 2024 needs to be the year standards come back, right? No ditty to that. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. No ditty to that pie. I bet he would like to get his hands on that. <laughs> For sure. It's been a wild week. I tell you what. Hey, man, 2024, only going to be getting better. Only going to be getting better. Whatever we're in store for, I'm ready for it. It's the year of the truth. Uh, also, yeah, Ian Connor uh, dropped some stuff uh, as well. Um, they did drop some uh, pastel uh, over on the network uh, website. There is still a couple sizes left. Uh, if uh, you guys wanted to get your hands on them. Uh, the uh, crew neck is sold out or was last night. Oh, there's just size small left. And then... Um, yeah, the T-shirts, they do got uh, each one of those. Um, the blue one, they only have in small, medium. They're sold out of large, but they got sizes and everything else. Uh, if anyone is looking at uh, copping uh, any of that merch uh, as well. Again, they are, uh, did come in a bunch of different colorways. Uh, we got another uh, Imram 3D printed shoe. Yo, we got the 3D printed car shoe. Looking like the looking like the fucking Adidas box from this morning, the which is right there. Oh man, yeah. Who would have thought that would have been right next? Uh, yeah, we got taken early on the April Fool's joke. We definitely got taken over the weekend, but you guys caught that, so I didn't have to. <laughs> you right? They threatened him with the video of him at. <laughs> At Diddy's house. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, did, is there a video of, of Aiden at Diddy's? <laughs> Vroom. <laughs> toot, toot. <laughs> no kidding. Dude, those are pretty sweet, though, if they would be comfortable. Oh, boy. Yeah, someone got to break those bad boys in. All right. Yeah, looks like Imran Potato got some things on the way. No way! Oh no, 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 no! This could be whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, we gotta take it. We gotta take all the news with a grain of salt today. We gotta take all the news with a grain of salt. I was like, what? Yeah, this has got to be. Yeah, that's definitely. They wouldn't announce that on April Fool's Day. They would not announce that on April Fool's Day. I don't believe that for a minute. But God dang it, I would be pretty. Pretty excited. Now, a Nike SB or nothing. Now they're really getting me. Now they're really getting me. They say, world's first look, John Cena? Nike SB? Man. I mean, John Cena, Nike SB. Shit, the only thing, the only thing we got is John Cena. And his name is John Cena! <laughs> right. His name is John C. I get the timing right, right there. Yeah, that is, uh, it looks like what uh, we're getting over there on Nike SB or nothing. Yeah, we're getting a blank screen right there that's seeing world's first look. Oh, okay, April Fool's hashtag. Hey, man, we're, we're navigating. We're navigating the trenches this morning. Sheesh, we're, we're going to war. Hunter, <laughs> he goes, April Fool's Day, scroll through, is it rough? I know, especially a live show. This one's a little rocky. <laughs> this one's a little rocky, certainly. Uh, we're going to get through it, though. We're going to get through it. I tell you what. There we go. Yeah, Nike SB Day. Yeah, anything that I feel like is a shock drop or 
you know, anything that, that sounds too good to be true right now is, is definitely too good to be true for sure. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah. We're fumbling the bag right now. Go Yukon. There we go. Who are we going for? Who are we going for? Who's going to, who's going to take home the big dance? I don't know. Who, who do you got on the women's side? Who do you got on the women's side? Can Caitlin Clark get it done? I don't know. I don't think she can beat. I don't think they can beat LSU. I think uh, Angie Reese has got her name, you know. Bing bong, baby. Big dollar. <laughs> Shit, you got to turn it on now if there was a time. You got to get that shot on point, right? There it is. I tell you what. If they would need someone to come and sub, I tell you who shots on point. This guy's. We're definitely already shooting probably plus thirty percent at least right now. Not even looking at the basket. <laughs> there we go. Smoke puff clouds in the chat. There we go. Big up my boy. Let's go. Good morning. There we go. Sun is shining somewhere. Good to see you guys on a Monday. Happy April Fool's Day. Big up, big up. Let's go. Damn, UConn got the men and the women? Sheesh. Well, I do know Arizona State didn't even make the final 68 team. They didn't even make any of the playing games. You know you have a shitty season if you're D1 and you can't make the... If you can't make a 68 team tournament? <laughs> what are we doing here? A who said a USC LSU... Okay. Damn, you think USC is going to make it? Really? Wow. Abby Wyland. We the best. <laughs> Hell yeah. Turning it up. Good to see. Hey, we got the best chat on YouTube. Almost seven months in a row. We're going to turn it up. Hopefully get that year mark. We bringing it up this corner of the internet. Only one way we know how, baby. Zero to a hundred. <laughs> Let's go. Hell yeah. Yeah, we got that coming up. Uh, we also got the NBA playoffs coming up, which, you know, that's going to be some good basketball. That's going to be some good basketball. They're kind of jockeying for position uh, in the tournament. Um, let's see. Yeah, Purdue still in the mix. Uh, Duke Duke got beat down. They they did, got an upset, but they ended up losing North Carolina State. Sheesh, yeah. Damn. Tennessee beat Creighton. Yeah, Duke beat Houston, but couldn't bring home the bacon against NC State. Damn, they only scored 54 against against Houston. Sheesh, damn, man. Yeah, man, what are we going to get here? What are we going to get? Um, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, 2024. UConn, Alabama. North Carolina State Purdue on the men's side of things. I have end of shit. I don't remember UConn being number one since like remember Khalid El Amin? Yeah, some good games. Absolutely. I love I love Final Four. I love the Final Four. I am, yeah. Bama v. North Carolina by fucking two points. <laughs> by two points. UConn versus Purdue, huh? Really? Yeah, because we got, I mean, right now, um, you know, we got, uh, let's just, you know, go right here in the middle on the men's side of things. I'm actually, I don't know, the women's side, I, I've never said this, I, but I want to see who wins out of Iowa and LSU on the women's side. I like that rivalry right there. The Caitlin Clark, Angie Reese rivalry. 
Yeah, for once they have a storyline on the women's side. <laughs> God. Still going to be just as boring of a game, though. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Flacco got UConn, Purdue. Smoke buff clouds in the chat. There we go. Grand Canyon, though, made it pretty far. I will give them props for beating St. Mary's. <laughs> Old Grand Canyon coming out from Arizona. Hey, at least they made the tournament. Instead of Arizona State. Yeah, South Dakota State got beat pretty bad. And then Arizona lost, yeah, lost to Clemson. Super interesting. All right. Of course, uh, that, uh, well, when is that? Is that's going to be this weekend? I believe this next weekend on, uh, I think Thursday and then, or Friday and Monday or something. You say the championship game's on a Monday night? Hell yeah. Mikey! Big up, Mikey! Brr, happy April Fool's! <laughs> Let's get it. Good to see you, my boy. Hell yeah. All right, what else we got here? All right. Ooh, what do we got over on New Balance? Um, silver metallic boxes for the upcoming uh, JFG. Yeah, so it looks like the JFG collab and the Action Brunson collab are going to be coming really soon. Uh, both of those going to be April drops. There we go, Mikey. LSU, oh, at LSU and Iowa. Play tonight. Nice. Yeah, that's the game I want to see. That'll actually be a fun one to, to you know, because the way it ended last year, I always love a good bitch fight, you know? Get out the claws, pull some hair a little bit. Dude, I'm game. I'll get some popcorn, pour some beers, maybe a couple glasses of champagne, turn it up, roll one up. <laughs> Women's basketball tonight, boys. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, man, we got to recruit, see what the, uh, see what the landscape's going to be looking like. All right. Yeah, I've definitely got to see the new roster. New roster of ladies hitting the market. <laughs> there we go. All right. Yeah, New Balance. Uh, I feel like both on the on the Fresh Good and on the Action Brunson side, definitely need. I would like uh, at least one each of those. I well, the pink one on the Joe Fresh. I don't need both of the Joe Fresh Good. I'm thinking I'm just gonna cop the pink one uh, over there and then. Uh, on the Action Brunson ones, I would cop all three of the Action Brunson 1906s. I mean, we got some good ones for sure. Um, let's just go ahead and pop that one uh, over. Yeah, we've already had some good colorways of the 1906 drop, but let's go on over to uh, Bam Bam site. Again, I'm probably going to have a better better luck copping these uh, over on his site than on the New Balance site. I mean, New Balance, we're not going to get a chance. I didn't really like this Rosé one at first, and now I, like, love that shoe. I don't even know which one I like the best. But as I've been saying for the last, like, month and a half, my favorite up-and-coming drops are on the New Balance side. And, and the eight, like, I wanted that hidden one. Uh, as well, so uh, A6 has also been putting out some heat. And they're comfortable shoes. And they're comfortable shoes, so we'll take that when we can get a good one. Most definitely. All righty. All righty, what else we got cooking? Let's go ahead and uh, move around a little bit here. Let's go ahead and pop this one up on the main monitor. Went to UConn and it stopped going. <laughs> That's funny. All right. All right, all right. Let's see. Um, yeah, we talked a little bit about the uh, Potza Boys uh, collaboration coming up. Uh, those are going to be passes for me. Uh, we got, it looks like, a Cortese and an Air Force One, uh, part of that collection. The belt is sweet, though. I would cop the belt for sure. 
Don't need the sneakers to match, but the belt, I like the, the pattern. Um, then let's go ahead and get this one up there. All right. Uh, we talked about the SBs that are up and coming. Um, let's see. We talked about, da, 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 yeah. Um, the Adidas April Fool's joke. <laughs> um, we talked about the SLS series. There we go. We talked about the Dior Greenwoods, uh, the Live, Laugh, Love. Uh, yeah, on the SB side, uh, it looks like, uh, as we were saying before, uh, that we were going to be getting, it looks like this month, uh, the Live, Laugh, Love, um, as well as that pastel uh, colored SB. Uh, and then possibly, uh, you know, the Dior Greenwoods also going to be dropping. I personally will be keeping my eyes more on the Ashad Wear Max. You know, I'll be waiting at least until the Safari uh, SB uh, ends up dropping. Uh, which it looks like is going to be this summer. But whether it's the Safari SB or the Futura SB, uh, I feel like we need both of those. Um, but those are probably going to be, you know, the next uh, SBs uh, we end up copping. Um, just to go ahead and pop on over here. There's also the their Skateboards. That's going to be a pass for me. Um, and then we also got the Olympics one, which is going to be a cop. But I, I probably won't cop an SB until the Olympics one drops. I might cop the Live, Laugh, Love. I might. Like, it's a possibility. But I probably won't. If I would cop it, it would just be for the laces. But I feel like there, there's too many that, you know, we, like, there's too many Wearmax coming out that, we should be good um, just copping, you know, the colorways we can get our hands on. Um, I'll probably cop the pink colorway and then uh, the Verde colorway, of course, um, are all going to be cops for me. Again, most of these going to be summer drops. There we go. I like the one I can't get. I like the one I can get, right? j Dog, big up, big up. What's goody, my boy? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. What else uh, we got here? Um, did it, did. Yeah, I think we got caught up there. Again, we didn't have a ton of stuff to talk about today. Um, but I did want to go over the stuff that we do got to talk about. Yeah, and then, of course, we got the Verde uh, SB. I'll probably also make, uh, this week, I'll probably also do a tier list. Um, I'll get an update of the April drops and also uh, do a tier list so we kind of have an idea of everything going to be dropping uh, as well. Hell yeah. Oh, Flacco, you went, you went to college. You went to university up at UConn. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. Probably got the weather a little too chilly up there. It's like, hell no, go back to Florida. Hell yeah. Appreciate you guys finessing that thumb button, getting us going on that algorithm. Happy April Fool's Day. We're trekking our way on a Monday. You know it. Hey, going to be a good day to get out the skateboard. It's going to be pretty nice for us today up in my neck of the woods. About, probably about 40, 50 degrees, which is all right. Uh, well, I don't think it's going to get that nice, but the next 10 days is going to be pretty nice. Um, just going on over. We still got, you know, some snow on the ground. Um, but yeah, today going to be 47, and then look at it, 60s and 50s. You know, I was going to wait another week to get the rest of the ramps out, but hey, we're going to let it rip. Um, I think we, we should be safe to get everything out now and not, or avoid getting a blizzard. So we have to bring everything back in for the third time already <laughs> this spring. Uh, but it'll be nice to get everything out uh, as well. Then I can... Uh, Get a couple of those reviews done I've been waiting on. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, pop our window on over. Uh, just talking about the SBs. Let's go on over to the Jordan side of things. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at all the Jordans that are going to be dropping in April. See if you need to comp anything. Again, we've already taken a look at our April schedule. Kind of been looking at some of the highlights. Um, at least for this week, I would probably say the Haven. Uh, going to be the number one cop. And then 
probably my number two cop is going to be the Air Max 95. Uh, the ATL Air Max 95, that is. Uh, just to see the back 3M part with the bird on it there. Uh, that does have reflective on the back heel. Again, those are, are the my favorite drops uh, for this week. Uh, but just to go take a quick look at the calendar. Uh, we also got the Sulphur Jordan 4s dropping. Of course, if you are in the EU or UK, you do have the restock on those uh, Chicago and Boston SBs. Uh, also, those ugly Noctas are dropping this week. Definitely going to be passes for me. We got the Fear of God drop on Wednesday. Fear of God drop on Wednesday. That one, you know, does have some decent stuff. I'm going back on over to the Fear of God site. Just taking a quick gander uh, at the drop list. Again, some stuff will be dropping exclusively uh, on Fear of God, like the sneakers. Uh, you got four different colorways of the uh, Fear of God Adidas one model. Uh, this one going to be also dropping in a green colorway, uh, which you see right here. Um, again, these ones are all going to be exclusive to the Fear of God site. Uh, they'll also be dropping the runner. Um, on there as well as the rivalry 86 high but they'll you can get the rivalry 86 also on the adidas confirmed app as well uh, then you got this yellow and red pair probably the most interesting color it's kind of a it's kind of a miss but maybe if you put it with the right thing i would change my mind on the uh, red and yellow colorway um, and then uh, last but not least you have the uh, black uh, in red colorway uh, also, uh, a different colorway than what we've seen in the past as well. Uh, we also got the Jackie Robs uh, going to be dropping on the 15th. We got the Kobe's on the 13th. Definitely my favorite pair of Kobe's on the 13th are those Kobe 6 Italian camos. I feel like that's the only one I need. I mean, I'll take the Kobe 4 Phillies uh, as well. All right, did we figure out if this is a troll? Uh, is, is the uh, F Palace t-shirts an April Fool's joke? Because, we, you know, we got to dodge the bullets this morning. They're trying, to, they're trying to get us at all angles. We've dodged a couple of them, but we also, we also ran into a couple. Most definitely. They got us good. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> I can't judge anyone. I went to Arizona State, and it took me like seven, you know, six years to finish. <laughs> I can't pass judgment. <laughs> For sure. You're into those uh, interior design reality show, Flacco. <laughs> Hell yeah. Mikey, you're like the third person that said that. The, the Jackie Robs? Yeah, on the 15th. Do you guys like those better? Better. I like those better than the, uh, what was it? I like the dunk. The Oh, I like them better than the Air Force One, probably. Yeah, I like them better than the Air Force One, but I like the dunk the best from the Jackie Robb collection. Hopefully, we'll keep those shockers up, of course. Uh, we do got the military force uh, that are going to be dropping next month, but, you know, if we get that shock drop, uh, we could be sitting on a fatty over there as well. We got the Travis Scott Jumpman Jacks dropping at the end of the month. We also got the Canary Yellow Jumpman Jacks scheduled to drop next month. So things are definitely going to start heating up, at least on the collaborative side. Saving those pennies in the meantime. Saving those pennies in the meantime. Um, but yeah, the, um, let's see. It looks like the F Palace tees. Do we have more than one outlet saying that? If we have more than one outlet, we can probably get, like, yeah, that's the only person that's saying F Palace right now. Oh, boy. Oh, let's go to the, yeah, let's go to the um, actual Supreme Instagram, see if they've posted anything. Yeah, I don't see anything. If anyone got a deck and doesn't want their deck from last weekend, I will definitely buy one. I want to, you know, if you got a deck and then you realize that, you know, it's all white on the bottom and you got to actually skate it to get the, unless you take like a Dremel to it, but you might as well skate it. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely looking for one. 
I'll probably just stay patient, though, and, uh, you know, wait for them to come down a little bit because I, I think they will. Um, but, yeah, I'm looking to, to skate in one. If anyone does want to trade or get rid of it, yeah. Vu, <laughs> I get a hidden email. I got a hidden email, but it, it meant nothing. I think they gave it to me because I was talking so much shit <laughs> on their Instagram that I, I, I don't know how they would have related my email to my, my, my username, but let's say if there's a way to do that and they knew who it was, yeah, they sent me out an email. And basically like, okay, well, we're sending out emails. Um, we had a lot of bots during the drop. What's your size? Reply with your size, and then we'll basically see about getting you a pair. So I replied with my size, and I was so happy. I even went and re erased one comment. And then all of a sudden, like an hour later, I went and put the comment right back on. And then I had already canceled, <laughs> I had already canceled my membership. And yeah, I was pissed. And I was pissed I didn't have anyone to bitch to. <laughs> I was so mad. I was so mad. Uh. <laughs> yeah, but I, but anyways, I've canceled. Yeah, definitely canceled them out. But I, I wanted to cancel before they could even send me an email, right? Like, that's how mad I was. And I had done that. But I didn't, like, cancel. I said that they could cancel my account so it wouldn't charge me again. But I would keep my membership through the month. Where as soon as they gave me that email and didn't send me an invoice, I fucking just, like, canceled, like, right now. <laughs> That's bullshit. Vu uh, said people get them today and checked out like that. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Dude, I mean, there's nothing that makes me more mad than to use that. You know? Which is why they, like, I think if you're going to do that, you should just have, like, a drawing and have to pay for the drawing. Don't have someone to subscribe just to get the money out of them. And then, you know, like, they knew exactly how many shoes they already had. They knew how many members they had before they even advertised this. And it was just, like, to me, a money grabbing. It was just distasteful. Um, but, yeah, I had been pissed. Oh, I'm still pissed, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> For sure. If you're around me enough, you'll definitely hear me bitch about it a little bit. I mean, how can you not? I mean, I just hate when they pull the chain like that because, you know, um, like I feel like you can handle it in, you know, good faith. You know, we give them good faith, so, you know, I always expect that back. I give them one chance, and now I know. So in the future, you know, in my opinion, they hurt themselves more than us. Because yeah, in the future, we're just going to be growing. And, well, I'm sure they will too, but I, I'll, I'll at least know in the future. <laughs> I'm not going to get hoodwinked again. All right, what else we got? Um, yeah, I think that is uh, kind of getting towards the end here. Kind of getting towards the end. Um, anything else you guys wanted to talk about? Right about 12 o'clock, about lunchtime. Um, yeah, just going back and taking one more look, um, at my windows here. Making sure, oh, uh, there was one thing I wanted to talk about. Okay, so, yeah, so Dade also posted this, guys. So, I have seen this now from two outlets. So, it looks like at least that they're going to have two colorways. Yeah. I did not see these uh, in the lookbook this year. Hopefully, it's not too, you know, hopefully, it's not two outlets teaming up to, to give us an April Fool's. <laughs> Smoke buff clouds in the chat. There we go. We smoking on that April Fool's pack, baby. In a pro. Let's go. My boy. Hello. What's going on? Tell me the good news. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, I, well, I thought we could have squeaked one out this morning, but it looks like, you know, um, if you haven't entered the raffle yet, you definitely want to do that again over on Hibbit Ribbit. Uh, over on Hibbit Ribbit, we're definitely getting some of the raffles open uh, for the Kobe's that are going to be dropping. Definitely want to stay on the ball for those. Um, if you scroll down, if you weren't here earlier, again, April 13th, Definitely want to get into that raffle. We want to secure that pair. 
Not too many great drops in April, so uh, the ones that are bangers, we definitely want to secure that bag. You know it. And then also a couple more Kobe's that we got coming up. We talked a little bit about the, the gray pair uh, this morning. Of course, the Venice Beaches are going to be dropping uh, in just about a week and a half. Uh, we also got the Lakers uh, colorway we were talking about earlier. And then there's also a red colorway uh, that is also going to be dropping uh, in 2024. Again, um, the Venice one, probably the only Kobe 8 I'll need. I really want to get the Kobe 6 Italian camos uh, as well. That's going to be uh, the goal. Uh, either the Italian 6 camos or uh, the Philly, the, the Kobe 4 Phillies. Uh, and then we took a look at that new colorway from Union. Uh, again, we got the Field General uh, going to be dropping the collab on this probably either in April or May as well. This one could be potentially be added to the April list. We'll have to see. Lettuce heads out there. You know it. 420 coming up, baby. We just getting ready. Rolling up and smoking them, my boy. Bulldog in the house. Good morning, sunshine. There we go. Smoke puff clouds in the chat. We getting litty on a Monday. Monday fun day. We've already gotten fooled a couple times. <laughs> Fool me once, my fault. Fool me twice, <laughs> my fault again. Fool me three times. Well, sometimes. I don't know how that saying goes. <laughs> I know I butchered that one. Is that SB an April Fool's joke? I don't think so. The dinner plates? I don't know. I had mine out. This is my version of the dinner plate flock. <laughs> no. Um, but, yeah, we were talking about these a little bit earlier. Um, yeah, th th they are not, at least to my understanding, <laughs> they're not a April Fool's joke. Dude, I got to get those Imran potatoes, though. Yeah, I don't think they're an April. No, because they were dropped, uh, yeah, two days ago. Yeah. Sheffian didn't give me give us any live pictures, though. Didn't give us anything to look at there live. But, yeah, the, uh, the materials are a little questionable. Um, but, yeah, they look a lot kind of like this pair. I like them. I like the dinner plates. I like the dinner plates. Of course, they got the, they got the gum bottoms uh, as well. Nice little speckled bottom on the bad. On the, ooh. Dude, I didn't know the Travis Scotts are going to be coming with. Or did they swap out the pink pair? Or is this the pair that came with them? I'm I'm more uh, I'm a little bit more interested in the canary yellows. But god dang it, that pink pair, pink that light color pink looks so good on like greens and browns. Yeah, it looks like they're rolled up in the shoe. Looks like they're rolled up in the shoe. We're going to give this one hell. We're going to give this one hell. For sure. Yeah, we def definitely saved those pennies, fam. We got a bunch of good stuff. Like I said, all of our heat is still yet to drop. And we're probably going to go on a good, like, month and a half, two-month run where it's just going to be banger after banger. Yeah. Damn, Escargo SB Dunk. That's a fancy name right there, Mikey. <laughs> The Shrek, the Shrek kitchen sink, SBs. The Shrek. <laughs> yeah. That is the, uh, the old Shrek and Fiona. <laughs> yeah, they should drop like a, a Shrek, a, a swamp pack. Yeah, they have the kiddos. <laughs> old Fiona. Yeah, Shrek was, Shrek was drive, pulling in some tail back in the day. That guy knew how to drop the panties. You know what I'm saying? He was pretty fly. At least for Fiona, I thought he was. Definitely wanted a piece of that. Shrek <laughs> The tennis ball, that oh, could be. All <laughs> right. And now you got fooled every, like every year. Yeah. Yeah. That, April Fool's is the worst for me. I'm like the most gullible person ever. <laughs> Imagine my first year of college down at, Ari <laughs> at Arizona State. Ooh. Yeah, didn't believe anything after the second year. <laughs> oh, 
for sure. Oh, yeah, we had to take a look um, at, um, I believe we had a video of these. Um, yeah, Travis Scott, I believe, was performing in these last night. Oh, man. Bulldog, you, you missed the, the new Ez skate shoe. The old cowboy. <laughs> Ride him, cowboy. <laughs> That's what they called it. Yeah, that one's a wild one. Yeah, that one's a wild one. We're definitely going to have to get that one, though, and, and test her out at the skate park for sure. All right. Yeah, we also had a new silhouette from Verde. Or, sorry, from Vandy the Pink. Vandy the Pink got this cookies and cream. Almost looks like the... I guess not really. Um, uh, Antoine. Is it Antoine Dixon, uh, the skater? Uh, he's got the flames on the side of his skate shoes. Yeah, they kind of remind me of those a little bit. There we go. Hey, big up, Rio. Yo, yo. What's goody, my boy? Happy April Fool's Day. Hopefully, yeah, you're not getting too, too many people getting you out in the streets on the jokes. <laughs> I'm about to go out there and see how, how well I do. <laughs> out there. Smoke puff clouds in the chat. Big up, Romy. Happy April Fool's Day, baby. <laughs> We had to retire Hammy Girl. She moved on. <laughs> Oreo cookie. Yeah, the, the packaging on these is actually pretty good, I will say. Packaging not that bad. Good to see everyone rocking this morning. Happy April Fool's Day. Glad you could be with us. Pretty low-key morning this morning. Uh, just been kind of laying low, uh, taking a look at uh, some of the um, sneaker leaks we've seen. Uh, we also got some raffles that went live as well. Entering as many of those as we can um, and just kind of taking a look at the rest of the month and, and week in general uh, as well. You know it. The old dinner plate, the DP. Shit, what do you think the desserts are going to be looking like? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we smoking on that April Fool's pack, baby. <laughs> They're not going to play any tricks on us. But, yeah, looking, looking a little bit, you know, similar. You know, the greens. Uh, materials look at least like they're pretty nice on the dinner plates. For the most part, it seems like most of the orange label SBs have been pretty sweet. For sure. Like, especially materials. They definitely not letting us down on the, on the material side. Absolutely. All right, let me go ahead and pop on over. I thought we had a video. I thought we had a video of those new T-Scots. Um, but I might have been on the wrong... I might have been on the wrong site, so um, let me just go ahead and double check. Um, Blasi um, has put out a Super Stash Brothers. I like looking at Blasi's knickknacks uh, when he drops them, both him and House Phone. Uh, I try to support when I can uh, as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at Blasi's new uh, item that he's got. Looks like a little CD stash box. Let's take a look. The nothing personal stash box, uh, which is uh, pretty sweet, I will say. Um, popping on over. Uh, Blossy did drop a, a cassette. Uh, they did drop a run of these back um, a few months ago, but they were like cassette tapes. Um, but let's just go ahead and uh, pop on over to his uh, Insta real quick and take a look at that last stash box that they dropped. In case you need a bigger one than, than what you're going to find on your sneakers, <laughs> the 420 stash bot uh, coming up. Um, but, yeah, the other one was the, uh, the cassette tape, which is on his site. Um, I didn't know if he had a video of it. Oh, yeah, they also got the... Uh, the Nope X uh, money bag uh, as well. Um, but, yeah, they got that stuff. Uh, let's go on over to the site, see what he does got left. I think he is sold out of some of the clothes. Yeah, like the kangaroo stuff all sold out. 
Um, he's got the Last Supper belt still available. Um, and then there was another stash box. Okay, here's the, yeah, the, this is like a little car key. And it's got a little stash spot in this thing as well. I don't know. They're cool little knickknacks. Um, and then, yeah, here's the complete set right here. Yeah. This is like, uh, they're, they're matchbooks, but they look like cassette tapes. Um, it kind of gave me like the same vibe as the, um, is these things, is the CD cases. Obviously, you're going to be able to put way more stuff in the CD cases. <laughs> Where was that bag? Right? Uh, Boo said, bro, stay dropping. By. I know. He really has been. Uh, old school. Where was that back in the day? I know. Fuck, right? Jeez, after like 20 trips to the slammer. Can, can we just get a good stash box? For sure. But yeah, that thing kind of neat. Kind of neat. Definitely been dropping some fire knack-knacks. Yep. Same with, like I say, because the guy... Um, the guy that designs for Hellstar, he's been doing most of the graphics for, um, for, um, house phone over at, uh, lucky seven. I think it's what it's called. Um, yeah. I think it's, yeah, these things look crazy by the way. Do you guys think that the, the the shoes that dropped on GOAT are going to look like like this limited line that they dropped? Because they look a little bit different, I thought. Like, there was some things that are similar, but there's also things that are different. But, yeah, prices on eBay on this one are uh, listed up to $6,000. 225 pairs. Uh, individually numbered. And then there was also the ones that dropped, remember, on GOAT on Air Max Day? But the materials on the on the upper, I think, are, uh, like, a different. When you guys get yours in, definitely uh, let us know. I would love to see pictures of those bad boys. Hell, yeah. Um, but, yeah, um, house phones? Um... What what's house phones um brand called? Is it Roland Seven or oh, I can't? I'm going blank right now. Um, yeah, I don't think it's uh, blah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, I'll have to go and pop on over here. I think it was a. Um, lucky, lucky sevens, lucky seven. Remember, there was a pair of, of, of jeans that used to be called lucky sevens. No, there's, cause there's lucky seven cards. All right. Yeah, I'm in, I'm, oh, high rollers. Duh. High rollers. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can see here. I'm going to go over to his Instagram. And um, yeah, the guy um, that designed, the guy that owns Hellstar uh, did some of his graphics in the past. Like he did the um, a leprechaun uh, crew neck. That was pretty dope. Uh, but every once in a while, he'll drop some good graphic stuff. You know, like the high roller, like um, some of those graphics, his dice tees, uh, we're all from, you know, all that. Which is pretty dope, because sometimes you can catch a, a pretty dope drop uh, as well, with some gr good graphics on it. And also, you'll see um, when Blasi does drops as well, uh, you'll see some graphics. As well. Hi, yeah, hi, right. I don't know why it was lucky seven. Oh man, yeah, I was going all over the place there, for sure. 
Um, but yeah, I always like to kind of, you know, tap in because they'll usually have some really dope graphics on, you know, their tees as well. And they're way, way cheaper than, you know, even like an online ceramics or then like a Hellstar, for instance. Yeah. Uh, they're tapped in with Hellstar, but yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, and, and uh, my boy over at Hellstar been making the, making the money, as we would call him, money moves. Yeah, he had a little, uh, um, he had a little no interview. Uh, I don't know if we have that one still pulled up. Um, yeah, I think I probably erased that one. But yeah, they definitely been doing their thing. Definitely been doing their thing. Uh, just two years ago, we watched a little video the other day uh, where he was, you know, he was working at Starbucks literally like two years ago. Just kept investing all of his money, making a little bit, investing it back into the business. Um, and then, you know, they've been obviously on the come up in L.A. the last couple of years now. And um, both Blasey, House Phone, all the guys that left No Jumper. They've been definitely turning it up, which is great to see, man. It's great to see. We need more brands out there. We need more dope brands, for sure. <laughs> for sure. All right, guys. Uh, well, I think uh, that is going to um, about wrap it up. Unless anyone else has anything they want to add, talk about. Anyone got gotten pretty good today? <laughs> That they uh, can't remember. A pretty bad April Fool's. Yeah. I like that Tyla girl. Yeah. Tyla. Friend zone Kai sent it the other day. But, you know. Hey, man. We got to get her on, on my stream. <laughs> Let your boy uh, shoot his shot. There we go. Yeah, Tyla. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, I'm I'm a Tyler fan now. Big Tyler fans over here on the channel. There we go. Hey yo, Benjamin. What's goody, my boy? Good to see you. Happy happy April Fools, baby. I entered, yeah, Hibbit Ribbit. Let's get entered over on Hibbit. Speaking of, let's go ahead and pop on over. Uh let's take a quick look. Uh, just a quick, you know, look at the calendar. Again, some of the better drops. Definitely going to be the Joe Fresh Goods. Uh, the Action Brunson New Balance. Also going to be a good drop. We got the Kobe's drop in this month. Also, the Jackie Robinson. We got the Veneer restock. And then we got the Fear of God drop. Dropping on Hump Day of this week. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, pop up uh, our raffles. Again, we got the Venice uh, Kobe 8 over on Hibbit. Let's go ahead and pull up SNS. Uh, take a quick look at what we got to look at over here. Um, see if there's anything we need to go after. Probably not. A lot of dunks. They still, they got about 12 hours left. You got about 12 hours left to enter that clot raffle. All my, my clot lovers or croc lovers. Shit, you can get the best of both worlds there. And then, of course, we got the sulfurs uh, over on SNS. Not too great. Not too great over there as far as raffles are, are concerned. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, pick it up and go ahead and go over to end. Uh, that was a mouthful. Sorry about the stuttering <laughs> right there. Um, but, yeah, we'll just go ahead and pop on over again. The D-Books, probably going to be the highlights, you know, of the week. Uh, I, mean, I mean, unless you're really looking at that Fear of God collection. Um, but we got, it looks like both. Of the D books uh, over on the uh, end clothing uh, release tab. Yep, those ones, those ones coming up around the corner. Uh, the Sulphur Jordan 4 is also up on there. Um, but it looks like as of right now, they only have the gray colorway. Where are you going, Bubs? Hey there, are you hungry? Got a new vacuum over the weekend as well, which was kind of nice, man. I've been putting that off forever. Just been kind of using this vacuum that really didn't work that well, and it was just slowly getting dirtier and dirtier in here. <laughs> so, yeah, I did that yesterday, so that, that was wonderful. 
as well. <laughs> Fucking A. Yeah, let's get in. Let's get in. There we go. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Let's go ahead and get entered. All the raffles we can. Uh, if you got your eyes on, you know, if you got your eyes on the prize, let's go ahead and get her done. Also, let's go ahead and pop on over to Amma Manier. Take a look at the lineup over here as well. Take a look at the lineup over here. Nothing too crazy, but they do got they do got the Vans Imran Potato. You're definitely going to want to enter where you can on the Imran Potatoes. Like it's a hot potato. Hot potato. Let's get in it to win it. You know it. We're in it to win it, willing to fall. You ain't ever seen the size of these balls. There we go. We're spitting out some bars with that on a Monday. Uh, then we got yeah, the Imran Potato. We got the old 1500. The old cat's meow right there. The old big brick daddy. Thing's a big, 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 big beast. Uh, then we got some more colorways of that Malachite. Uh, Asics, again, a dearest fear of God. Uh, the uh, Los Angeles runner right there. I'm not going to lie. That lot, that LA runner the, in the yellow colorway is kind of slapping. I'm not going to lie. This thing kind of looks like something I would cop. This looks like something I would cop. I don't know how much the retail is on these. 170 I don't know. That's a little bit expensive, but uh, it looks like it's got, like, Gore-Tex material. Almost like the Joe Freshgood 574 New Balance. I like that material that's on there. Uh, it's definitely... Yeah. Doesn't stretch very well, but it is nice material. Waterproof as well. Uh, those are over on Alma Manier. Again, they got the, the Vans Imran Potatoes. They only got them in one colorway, which sucks, but, you know, I'm going to go, I'm going to enter as many places as I can. They were almost impossible to get your hands on when they fir the first collaboration dropped. And then, of course, on Wednesday, they're dropping the 86 high on the Adidas Confirmed app as well. There will be two different drops on the Adidas Confirmed app and on the Fear of God website. The better drop list is definitely on the Fear of God site. They also got more silhouettes of sneakers. Um, but the shipping will be cheaper over on the Adidas Confirmed app. And then this is uh, also one of my faves of the week. The ATL Air Max 95 or 110. Whatever you call the silhouette. Most people in the States call them Air Max 95s. Where over in the UK they call them 110s. Or most people, that is. Can we get some hammies? Whoa! We got a dub on the fucking vacuum. Oh, man. I turned down the Roomba. I um, I was going to go ahead and get, you know, the one that's just that just goes in the background. But I was like, yo, they have cameras in them. You know? And then the one, uh, someone that was like, oh, you should just get that. Like, whoever I was shopping the vacuum with was like, oh, you should just get that. Then you don't have to do it, right? And I'm like, well, yeah, that sounds cool. But also, the the negative is if, like, for the vacuum to know where to go, it's got to have a camera on it. And I didn't really like that part. Also, I didn't like the prices of them. It's like, dude, I don't, you know, I can definitely, you know, I don't have a problem vacuuming. It's actually one of the house chores that I, I don't mind. I hate dusting. That's the worst. I hate the kitchen also. You know, I'd rather vacuum than any of those as well. But, yeah, we ended up getting one. It's an electric one. You know, my last one, you kept charging the batteries, you know, and then the battery it would die and it would barely work. And, you know, you only can have it filthy for so long. Then you just got to do something about it. <laughs> there we go. Hell, yeah, man. We spinning and winning. We'll take the dubs where we can get them. No doubt about it, right? <laughs> Let's go. Astro. Fuck yeah. We might as well bust it back and get them all. Uh, then, uh, yeah, a little bit of a slow day on the other side. Uh, but we ended up getting them. There it is, baby. The dub song. <laughs> you know it. We turning it up a notch. We didn't have a lot of W's today, um, but we definitely had a dub on the vacuum, and that is 
uh, definitely uh, worth. Put the whole down with the gang, that shit that shit my manager type shit. Shot that shit was the man I will forever have a boss. There we go, hell yeah. Go, 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 and so you'll see on the road, see right lit like carnival, out of the impossible. Damn, black sheep, skate shop as the coconut milk. Oh, yeah, keep an eye also, guys, on the Discord. Uh, if you guys are, aren't already in the Discord, the link will be down in the description. Great sneaker community. We're growing it with the channel. Would love to see you guys in there if you're not already in there. Great place to show your W's. Show your drip picks. I love seeing your guys' drip picks, especially over the weekend. Love seeing what you guys are undead stocking as well. You can ask questions. We also put all the raffles in there. Definitely keep an eye open because there's been a lot of restocks on those, those SBs uh, in there as well. Hell yeah. Hey, yo, who the new intern, baby? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. You got a couple of them. If Rami goes, I had a W lunch. Might need some more hammies. <laughs> For the ham I had. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> Let's go. Just to get the vibe up. Just a tish. Congrats uh, to all the W's out there this morning. Mother de Dios. There we go. Little afternoon special right there <laughs> for the boys. You know it. Little afternoon intern for the boys. Shit, we're going to be turning it up. It's Monday. Any plans for tonight? Yeah, it's going to be pretty low key for me. Hell yeah. Yeah, we got a couple, a couple new interns. Uh, a couple new interns going to be coming for the month of April. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, that's a lot of ham. No kidding. We got some potatoes over here as well. It's going to be a high-carb high, high carb month, baby. <laughs> right? Hammies and jello shots. <laughs> that's the ham dog. Oh, yeah. That's the ham dog with the bone. That's with the, with the bone. <laughs> for sure. Oh, man. All right. Good to see. Good to see. Um, I think that is going to about uh, drop it up. Hey, let me go ahead and, again, put the uh, calendar up on the big board. Um, Just to take a, a quick gander. I think we got caught up with everything. We got, a, we got another song here? Oh, I don't know what, what we got here. So let's set the world on fire We can burn brighter than the sun There we go. Happy Easter also to everyone uh, that I was not able to see yesterday uh, as well. Usually don't, we don't have Easter Day at the uh, end of March very much, but it is leap year this year, so... Uh, hopefully you guys uh, will had a good time uh, with friends and family as well. Happy belated Easter. Uh, it doesn't sound like you mash a macaroni and cheese. <laughs> you ain't doing it right. <laughs> yeah, just yuck. You know it. There we go. Putting a little bit of a uh, little bit of lubrication in there. <laughs> you know it. All right, all right. Um, let's go back. Yeah, we got caught up with that. Um, we looked at the, yeah the calendar, the Pazza Boys. Um, yeah, we took a look at Bandy the Pink. We got a new silhouette. Um, the Cortez. We looked at the baseball. That is um yeah that is looks like gonna do it. Uh, for today. Yeah, another uh, New Balance we'll be looking forward to. The Joe Freshies as well. Oh, shit, we got for, we forgot the No Diddy. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Hell yeah. You know it. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go ahead and uh, just pop on over. Anyone streaming tonight or anything going on uh, from anyone else? 
Bulldog Rami. Yeah, going to be pretty low key, I think. Um, yeah, I do got, again, I'm going to be putting out the ramps. Um, and uh, hopefully, you know, get, doing some skating today. I uh, still got a, my board to put together. I was going to do that this week. I've been kind of waiting to do that, like all spring. Um, but I, this would be a pretty good week, being we're going to be getting into the 60s as well. Uh, probably going to save that one because I am going to put nicer bearings on my new deck. So I'll probably put a, use a set of wheels just because we're, we still got a lot of shit melting, a lot of gravel, shit like that. I'll probably put like maybe 54s or 53s on, you know, one board, and then I'll probably put 49s uh, on my other board. Now, you know, I kind of got two of them while, um, you know, the snow melts and then kind of getting into the summer so I don't ruin my, my new bearings because I'm actually going to spend money and put nice bearings in that shit. I'm actually going to spend extra money. It's going to be the first time I'm actually going to put, I'm not going to put ceramic bearings because I'm not going to spend like, you know, maybe if we can get sponsored. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Bulldog said vertical streams are kicking ass. Really? So just more people able to tune in? Because I will say, uh, Bulldog, they also, in, in the software, yeah, we, we can talk more, um, you know, behind the scenes. But, yeah, they also, it was a feature I know that they did in the in this other software I use where they also had the, you know, so you could stream it um, out to whether it's TikTok or in that, you know, long format as well. I suppose it would, you know, then when you're, Watching the shorts, it'll probably pop up there. Yeah, it's interesting how that algorithm works, especially for us channels that are growing. You know, I feel like they're always, you know, changing up a little thing. So I'm always, you know, trying to stay, a, you know, ahead of the curve as much as you can. <laughs> a go goes, I hate the vert vertical streams. Yeah, I don't like the, like, having them, how much it edits it down, you know. Um, I, I do know that they've, they've been kind of pushing us to do that, um, you know, about uh, just, yeah, being able to basically watch on your phone. But I don't, I don't mind watching on my phone uh, the other way either. But, hey, if the algorithm's picking that one up, uh, Bulldog said, yeah, more people are coming in and more subs. Shit. Yeah, we're going to have to, maybe, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll test it on mine tonight. Maybe I'll, I'll t maybe I'll test it on our site tonight, guys. Um, I'll let you know in the Discord. Uh, maybe when the, if if I can, you know, get it so, um, it, you know, it's working as well. I know Streamlabs also does it, but I'll let you guys know. Uh, they want to compete with TikTok for sure. Well, it, I I believe mine. I believe what mine does is it, or at least the software, is it, it puts it out in both. Like, I know the software that I got, it will put it out in the 9x16, but it'll also put it out in the vertical. I just don't know what the default is. I just don't know what the default would be. It's all kind of new to me, obviously. I definitely recommend it, for sure. Um, and chat text goes over the screen. Damn. Interesting. Well, yeah, we'll just, uh, you don't have to play with it. Maybe maybe test it out and, uh, yeah, see how interactive it was. Yeah, Gok says he doesn't like it. Yeah, you definitely just probably, if you, you know, edit it, you know, together and, you know, probably put up the safety line. So when you shoot everything, you know, you're kind of, Programming it for the vertical screen, let's say. Yeah, I would I would definitely probably have to switch up my my background and stuff a little bit, you know. Um interesting. Very cool. Uh Flacco said I want to know if there's a difference in the ride. Oh, uh, with more expensive stuff. All right, I'll let you know. Yeah, I'm I mean the, the trucks are are gonna be pretty close. Um, but yeah, I've never, I've never put anything more than like in, in an ABEX seven, you know, just what, what you would get like for eight or like the Spitfire cheap shot, you know, bearings or something. 
Yeah, I've, I've never had the ceramic ones in. I, I was just going to, like, put, like, the the ones that are, like, one step up than the than the ABEX 7. So, like, they're, like, the $20 bearings. But still, nicer than anything I've had in, you know, <laughs> in a while, for certain. I think I might have, when I had my rollerblades, like, back in the day, maybe had, like, a ABEX 9 or something in those bad boys, but... You know we ain't busting the skates out. <laughs> we can't. We can't bust out the the rollerblades. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> ah, yeah, no way. Hell yeah. Oh man, yeah, great, great stream this morning. Appreciate everyone for rocking with us once again for tapping in. I know it's been you know a little bit slower, um, but we'll definitely you know get tapped in. Uh, things will definitely start heating up. We'll be ready when it does. We will be ready when it does. That is for certain. Yeah, another colorway also of the Travis Scotts uh, before we get running here. And it kind of got this blue colorway. Again, this is like the least favorite. I don't like any of these Jumpman Jacks. I hope they do good on the aftermarket because every pair that I get, I'm trading. I won't keep even one pair of those. Nope. Now, if it's a Travis Scott Jordan one low, yeah, I want the, you know, I would take the olive ones, and I would take, the, uh, of course, the yellow ones, but I don't want any of the Jumpman Jacks. You, know, you can keep those moving. Yeah, for sure. Hey, <laughs> yeah, they're all, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> yeah, like, like people on skis. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Fucking A. All right, boys and gals. Well, yeah, I think that is going to, yeah, jump man. Well, I agree. I just, I, there's, I don't like anything about it. I don't like the swoosh. I don't like the midsole. I mean, the numbers are, you know, doing, I guess, good enough to, to get a pair to trade, of course. But, yeah, that that is all I'm going to use them for. Just trade bait. Just trade bait. But, yeah, I think... Just even the brown pair are going for like they're going for more than what the the Jordan ones are going for. Damn you. That is crazy. You can get a you can get one of the newer colorways of the Jordan one low. Yeah. I wouldn't keep it. Yeah, we're gonna use these as trade bait, fam. No, this yeah, this is gonna be our, our ticket to at least a grail or two. This is gonna be my ticket out of here. <laughs> right. No kidding. This is going to be my ticket to bringing my collection to, like, the next level, maybe. <laughs> Getting our first grail. Hell, yeah. Hey, big up, Finesse. <laughs> What's Gucci, my boy? Hey, happy. There we go. Happy April Fool's Day. Good to see you guys. Welcome to the stream. If you guys are just getting here again, uh, we do got the Discord link down in the video description. I'll go ahead and put one in the chat as well. Um, and just get that one in there. Um, if uh, anyone does need uh, the Discord link, it'll also be right in here. Let's go ahead and pop that one up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Norton Antivirus. Okay. Yeah, I thought I just copped um, something, but it was just the Norton <laughs> Anti. My VPN. All right. Yeah, popping back over. Uh, just double checking again, guys. Uh, keep an eye again on the sneaker uh, raffles and on the releases uh, in the Discord. Uh, you will see again a lot of raffles uh, opening up as well. Uh, is uh, keeping an eye on just the sneaker drops because there's a lot of SBs restocking uh, in stuff, of course. Uh, if you haven't got your uh, hands on the Malachite SB or the City of Love uh, SB as well. Um, and then um, let me just go ahead and uh, pop that one up. I'm on the big board. Again, if you guys are just getting here, Hibbit. Uh, over on Hibbit uh, does have the Kobe's. Uh, those are going to start hitting a lot of the Q sites as well. Uh, we'll start getting into those one after the next. Heard it here first. Bing bong, baby. <laughs> All right. How we looking over on Kith? I'm going to do a quick. Uh, I'm going to do a quick check here around the around the world. Um, we're going to go and take a look, uh, see what we got over on Undefeated. Again, yeah, a lot of dunks. Same with Premier Skate Shop. 
Uh, Premier Skate Shop definitely has a ton of SBs and Dunks. Um, just going ahead and popping up the the Premier uh, app. Let me go ahead and get that one up. I think. Yeah, right here. Oh, they're updating the app. Okay. Uh, but Premier Skate Shop also got some pretty saucy uh, Nike Dunk Lows uh, as well. Uh, go cop in the Kobe 8s. I, I will cop the Venice. I was going to just cop the Italian camos, but I do like the Venice colorway. But, th but this will probably be the only Kobe 8 I cop this year, and then the gray one possibly. But for sure, the Kobe 6 Italian camo and the uh, Philly Kobe 4 uh, definitely going to be must cops as well. All right. Um, and then uh, just to go in ahead and uh, pop in on. Yeah, we're looking at, at the rubber. Uh, dip sneakers. All right. Yeah, I think we're all caught up. Talked about Palace. Got caught up with Supreme. Uh, anything on the uh, old Yeezy shop? Anything new over there? I don't think so. Yeah. We got the hoodie. Yeah, same stuff as, as we saw last time. All right. All right. Oh, yeah, here's Premier. I don't know if we have the uh, sneakers on there. Hey, Guppy. You hungry? Yeah, good boy. Uh, but, yeah, they do got uh, a few pairs over here in, in the sneaker section uh, as well. Uh, they got the... Uh yeah, there's only like two color or two sizes left of of this one. Uh, they did have the City of Love uh, SBs this morning. I'm not seeing too many sizes over there. Uh, there you go. Did everyone enjoy the draw for the box shoes? I right. Oh boy. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was gonna be like you know. An April Fool's joke, so my dumbass went ahead and entered anyway, but yeah. I was signed up, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. <laughs> they got us like three times on the April Fool's. <laughs> hey, yo! Hell yeah. Like to see the energy over on Twitch <laughs> as well. Hell yeah. Welcome, fellas. Welcome to the... Welcome to the fold. Hell yeah. All right. Um, yeah, we looked at the new mellow silhouette. Um, yeah, we looked at uh, the cleats around the league. Uh, we should be caught up. Oh, shit. Sexy Red. Oh, we got a video of Sexy Red falling off the scooter. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, that was Trippy Red. <laughs> what a dumbass. Oh, look at this shit. All right, before I let you guys go, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable how uncoordinated this guy is. Yeah. So Sexy Red caught Trippy Red. Just a bunch of red in these deviant <laughs> names. Here we go. <laughs> That ain't right. <laughs> that ain't right. Yeah, you just gotta lay like that and and take one for the team right there. Holy shit! There we go. I entered too. <laughs>
We locked up. He wants treats. No kidding. All right. Yeah, they're wiling out there. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okie dokie. All right, yeah, we uh we popping up. Uh, just double checking. Uh, yeah, we also got a, it looks like a French coffee press. Also got a French coffee press releasing this week. Uh, then, of course, baby, April 13th. I wish it was Friday the 13th. Yeah, I wish it was Friday the 13th because check this out. Images are out, baby. Hey, we need one of each. The goal is to get a hat trick that day. <laughs> yeah, the fail. No kidding. Yeah, that's like the, the double fail right there. Damn. Kimber! Yeah, that's like the triple fail. Uh, but yeah, we'll definitely keep our eyes on the prize. You guys are seeing it here. Let's go ahead and put the calendar up. Uh, really quick as well. I mean, things will definitely get added to the calendar, guys, uh, as we go along here. Um, but the most memorable uh, is definitely, in my opinion, uh, going to be the Kobe's this month. Uh, you can throw the Jumpman Jack on the end of the month just so we can get some value, use it as trade bait. Um, you know, the veneer restock also happening. Uh, that'll be worth copping. Um, but the Kobe's definitely going to highlight the month. If you're an Air Max 95 fan, of course, those are also going to be dropping on Thursday of this week. Also looking pretty good. The Jackie Rob's going to be dropping on the 15th. Going to be dropping on tax day, baby. <laughs> that deserve a Timmy feel. Yeah, that's like Timmy tier on, on, on another level, right? <laughs> For sure. No kidding. That <laughs> gets like two of them. Kimber! Hell yeah. Wow! <laughs> you even get a Mario screaming. <laughs> uh, yeah, Drew. Wait, big up, Drew. I had to step away. Uh, wait, where are those dunks with the red laces on the thumb? Oh, Drew, those are just the uh, Live Laugh Loves. Uh, these are going to be dropping, I would imagine. Uh, they'll probably be dropping with the... Um, or around the same time as the, the Paisley pack. Um, just to, to take a look. Yeah, we got right now the purple SB is going to be dropping on the 22nd with that veneer restock on the 24th. Uh, then the live, laugh, loves, which is the shoe you're talking about, my boy. Uh, those ones, um, going to be, and, and even if I, like I say that live, laugh, loves, I just need one of the laces. I just need one of the laces. All right, Ask Pizza. Also, uh, Ask Pizza just dropped this 50-cent polo uh, as well, which is kind of a dope um, image. I would have rather had it on a T-shirt, though. He does have the, the collar popped. But I'm definitely not as cool as Ask Pizza, so I, I don't think I could pull that one off. Dude, what's going on over at Eric Emanuel? Direct from the shops at the creek. Oh, okay. All right, I thought maybe uh, we were getting another pair of Eric's. All right, let's go on over to the SBs uh, really quick before we get ripping. Um, and then, yeah, so it looks like I'm guessing this was... I'm guessing this was a April Fool joke, but maybe it wasn't. The John Cena Nike SB. I guess, uh, first look, I mean, if we need to, to get a John Cena collab. And his name is John Cena! There we go. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, we're giving it for the goose, though. All right, let's 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 really look at these ones. Um, again, yeah, just uh, taking a look at the uh, different color laces. Uh, this is the sneaker right here. Again, the SB Live, Laugh, Love. Uh, Going to be coming with uh, two different laces there. Um, and then we get a chance, yeah, to see them. 
Um, I thought we had him uh, actually tied up. Um, yeah, with the laces in him here. Um, the one on the top, of course, got the the blue laces. Then the one on the bottom got the the red. I definitely like the extra laces in that pair. Uh, and then, of course, uh, we got those on the way. Uh, we got the pastel uh, SBs, and then we got uh, both of the Dior Greenwoods on the way. We got the SB, and then we also have the Blazer, uh, which is this black one uh, right here uh, as well. I would imagine that's probably the next collab we got coming is the Dior Greenwoods, uh, both the SB and the Blazer. Um, and then the two orange label uh, SBs that we got coming out are going to be the pastel um, as well as the Live, Laugh, Love. And, you know, we're going to get showered with a couple of the uh, Ashad Wearmax as well. I can't wait till the Verity ones uh, finally drop. Uh, but again, uh, keep your eyes on the Discord if you guys are uh, wanting either the Malachite or the City of Love pack. Uh, a lot of those are restocking uh, at your local skate shops as well. Uh, there's a couple places also that do does have the ship to me option. <laughs> yeah. It plays that sound when you open the box. <laughs> yeah. His intro is, I know. <laughs> Captain, big up, Captain. Yeah, that intro was, was money for sure. Yeah, it just kind of gets you pumped up even if you're in a bad mood, right? <laughs> for sure. Gets the blood flowing a little bit. <laughs> Hell yeah. All righty. All righty. Well, we're uh, definitely coming to the end. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we looked at the Kobe uh, Venice Beaches uh, earlier in the stream. Now uh, we're just going to go ahead and take a quick look at the Kobe 4s. Again, these are all going to be dropping on the 13th. But Vanessa oh, out here. Oh, blessing. <laughs> Vanessa out here blessing teams. Shit, she's been dropping the Kobe's off left and right, man. I love seeing these look pretty good in hand. I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely gonna be one you gotta wear on the court. Um, like the Kobe 4, I think if they put premium materials on it, like if they do put like a buttery suede, I definitely think you can get by with wearing those with jeans. Especially like the girl dad, the green pair that's gonna be coming out this year as well. Um, but this pair is made with more of the sporty materials um on them which, you know, doesn't look as good with pants, but definitely performers on the court. Can't go wrong. Great colorway uh, as well. Uh, I definitely like this one better than the Venice Beach one. Um, but at the same time, I would, you know, I would like to get my hands on um, all three of them if I could. If I only could pick two, I would pick the Italian camo and the Philly. If I could only pick one, I would pick the Italian camo. The show. Yeah. All right, um, and then um, that is, um, yeah, we looked at uh, the Jordans. Uh, and then real quick, yeah, the Jordans releasing in April. Um, I know we already looked at the calendar, um, but let me just go ahead and pop the calendar up alongside. Um, yeah, we got the Sulfur 4s on the 6th. Uh, we got the Jordan 1 Chromes on the 10th. Uh, we got the the sale uh, Jordan Five on the thirteenth. Uh, Those are going to be dropping the same day as the Kobe's. We got three Kobe's in the Jordan Five sale. Of course, those definitely going to be uh, easy to get the hands on. Four twenty, baby. We got the green glows. Oh, we. I'd rather have some Mota. Me gusta on Mota. <laughs> Um, but yeah, 420 drop. Hopefully they add some stuff. Right now it's looking slim pickings. On the 22nd, they tentatively got the, um, you know, the purple SBs there uh, dropping on 422. But if that's the highlight, it's going to be kind of a, a low energy month. Uh, then we got the other yeah, hyper. These are pretty dope. <laughs> As you guys know, anything with pink, I'm always a big fan of. Uh, and then on the 27th, we got the uh, Jordan 1 Team Reds. Very, very non-flattering uh, color of red. Don't like that. Almost looks uh, like a patina color. Uh, we do got the Joe Fresh Goods again in April. Uh, and hopefully the Action Brunson collabs on the New Balance side. 
Uh, we got those around the corner. And then we got the Georgia Peach Jordan 3s on the 27th and the Jumpman Jacks on the 30th. There we go. We're going to end it with a little bang. <laughs> Ric Flair's hype clips are hilarious for sure. Hell yeah. Yeah, we got to get the Ric Flair intro, the sound to it. <laughs> for sure. All right. Yeah, that is um going to wrap it up for today, uh, boys and gals. Yeah, tomorrow we're just kind of playing, you know, playing the week uh, as it kind of goes. I'm um, just going to go ahead and take a quick look um, at, at the drop schedule um, for the week. And, um, yeah, we got the Fear of God stuff on Wednesday. Come on, buddy. You ready to go bye-bye? He likes to go but Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I'm sorry. No, we're not going out. To Hold on, bud. Yeah, we're not going. But, but, but we're, we'll go for a walk. Okay, we'll go for a walk. You know it. Uh, but, yeah, we um, just to kind of a, a brief outlook. Just a brief little outlook here. Um, we got, again, Fear of God stuff. Um, Going to be on Wednesday. Um, again, the, the stream schedule, we're just kind of playing it by ear. Uh, we got all the colors um, of the Fear of God, also the L.A. Runner, um, and the Rivalry 86 High all dropping on the Fear of God site. Uh, we have the Clot Crocs dropping on Wednesday. That's a little midweek drop right there. The little Hump Day Special. The little blammo whammo, you know what I'm saying? Midway through the week. Um, and then we got, yeah, the uh, another uh, and Anthony Edwards colorway. We got the Georgia red clay right there, baby. All my Georgia peaches out there. Hell yeah, might as well get a color to match match the atmosphere. And then we got the Nocta Airs Hot Step 2s. <laughs> for all my Drizzy fans, for the Drizzy fan club. Uh, then we got the Air Max 95 ATLs. That's a, I, I still like that one. Uh, the the D-Book Haven is probably going to be the best shoe of the week, in my opinion. Uh, the Jordan 4 Sulphurs, not a bad colorway as well. It's not a must-have, but it, it definitely is a nice colorway to add to the collection. Uh, the D-Book Haven, uh, as well as the uh, Silver D-Book, are both going to be dropping on Friday. Uh, as well, we got the uh, Jordan 1 uh, Metallic Silver uh, dropping uh, early next week. Uh, a couple dunks also dropping over the weekend, and then we move. Uh, we get a little bit closer to the middle of April where we have uh, all the Kobe's dropping, and then we also got the Jackie Robs kind of right in that. We also got the Jackie Rob cleat, which is probably my favorite shoe from Jackie Rob Day. You know it. The hurrah right here, baby. This one's a good-looking sneaker. It's a good-looking sneaker. Absolutely. Got the 42 right there on the side. Uh, navy blue and gold. Can't beat this one. You can't beat this one. Just taking a, another look at that. I like this one. I, I don't like it better than the Dunk, but I like it better than the the Air Force one. All right, then let's go back uh, to the drop schedule. Um, and then, of course, we got some Jaws uh, also dropping right around 420 there. We got the veneer restock. And then, hopefully, we get that Joe Fresh good one sometime uh, in between there as well. Um, but they haven't given us exact dates uh, for the Freshies yet. So I'll definitely keep you guys posted, both on the Action Brunson and on the Fresh Goods. Uh, but other than that, yeah, that's going to uh, do it for today, guys. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Have a good rest of the day. Keep a smile on that face. I love you all. Thanks for the support again. No drama, just commas. Been your boy, J-Mac. Hey, until the next one. Whoop, whoop. I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs. I hit the ground, then I go off. Yeah, hit the ground, then I go off. Yeah. Eliante pulling up, feeling like Harry Belafonte. Uh, look at my racks, feel like Serena went from the back.
be. I know the king, follow his lead, repeat it after me. They lurking, this serpent, this circling, but I never worry, cause he got the keys, he let it bleed. Never put me on the freeze, just look at how he spin it to me. It'll be out of right after I seek. You can't make the promise unless you the king. Jay with a baby, I am what he made me. No, you cannot save me, so it's for the birds. Buy for a price, you ain't know what it's worth. He not letting go like it's grandma's purse. Rolling with heavy, he feeling kinda discouraged, cause he feeling down in the dirt. I told him heavy, you only need faith, cause yes, you were already did all the work. Life or death, this life is best. I'd rather see the vision complete instead of the speed to find regret. You gotta breathe, so you can be free so you never need the ice and checks this be my plea i lost my debt i gotta cheese and found a flex i gotta be i gotta breathe i gotta breathe Come with the beef and we serving the patties Check out the verbs if it's getting chatty You gotta move but ain't gotta prove that you out in the front You do what you do when you ain't got a stunt Cause humble is up and the proud got a punt 4 to 10, if you wanna win best put me in I got the shooters that's ready to spin They come with the king and he know how to win He come to your team and he do it again Rain to sleep, when the sun is at its peak Gotta keep moving my feet Until my journey is complete, complete I got the recipe, never gonna let any up get the best of me. Thought it was distance, but haters is next to me. Talk to the spirit, you know I've been heavenly. Company definitely show your trajectory. This ain't a diss, cause I say it respectfully. It's time to eat up, red like a speeder. Taking it deeper, and that's how it better be. I never let the comparison get to me. I just remember the promises meant for me. I know the enemy and that he's sent for me. I keep the blood of the lemons, my centerpiece. I cannot trust in no crystals or energy. Look at the chemistry, it do not even mix chemically. Most of the tricks, they be gimmicks, they mimic the truth. It's poison, and we got the remedy. Uh, there is a bomb, apply it. The fire can stand to the top. All the giants, the tyrant, and all the suppliers are scheming and lying. They selling the streams and we buying it. Uh, show me the chicken, I'm frying it. Uh, show me the dough and I'm prying it. Uh, ain't never lacking it, so what I'm packing, he taking it, he magnifying it. They say you ain't about it. Tell them that you finna make it, but they doubt it. But you rose like the flower. Tell me what it's like to live with superpowers. I don't know, but I'ma get it. I'ma get it. I'ma get it. I just know that I'ma get it. 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 
I got the drive, the bus, the truck, the gas is stuck. I ain't the one to rely on the luck. I put in work and then he show up. I know it's faith that's in the reps. Ain't no regrets, I do too much. It ain't me if you see and I stunt. He calling the place and I do what he want. This ain't a front. Glory to G-O-D. It's what you could do with a mustard seed. It's what you could do when you start to believe. Take fear and you cast it inside of the sea. A hundred percent out of me. Cause he gave it all on the T when he let it bleed. So what is you saying to me? You just insecure about the love that turned me to a beast. I take a step and I ain't turning back. He made me first cause I know that I'm last. I ain't got time for no thing in the past. Run from it first and then I react. Hands off me, don't hold me. Get it jumping like a trampoline. All truth ain't no trolling. We in good hands, no folding. They say you ain't about it. Tell them that you finna make it, but they doubt it. But God did it. But you rose like the flower. Tell me what it's like to live with superpowers. I don't know, but I'ma get it. 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 I just know that I'ma get it. 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 Hey. I got the recipe, never gonna let any op get the best of me. Thought it was distance, but haters is next to me. Talk to the spirit, you know I've been heavenly. Company definitely show your trajectory. This ain't a diss, cause I say it respectfully. It's time to eat up, red like a speeder. Taking it deeper, and that's how it better be. I never let the comparison get to me. I just remember the promises meant for me. I know the enemy and that he sent for me. I keep the blood of the lemons, my centerpiece. I cannot trust in no crystals or energy. Look at the chemistry, it do not even mix chemically. Most of the tricks, they be gimmicks, they mimic the truth. It's poison and we got the remedy. Uh, there is a bomb, apply it. The fire can stand to the top. All the giants, the tyrant, and all the suppliers are scheming and lying. They selling these dreams and we buying it. Uh, show me the chicken, I'm frying it. Uh, show me the dough and I'm prying it. Uh, ain't never lacking it, so what I'm packing, he taking it, he magnifying it. They say you ain't about it. Tell them that you finna make it, but they doubt it. But God did it. But you rose like the flower. Tell me what it's like to live with superpowers. I don't know, but I'ma get it. I'ma get it. I'ma get it. I'ma get it. I just know that I'ma get it. 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 Hey, I got the drive, the bus, the truck, the gas is stuck. I ain't the one to rely on the luck. I put in work and then he show up. I know it's faith that's in the reps. Ain't no regrets. I do too much. It ain't me if you see and I stunt. He calling the place and I do what he want. This ain't a front. Glory to G-O-D. It's what you could do with a mustard seed. It's what you could do when you start to believe. Take fear and you cast it inside of the sea. A hundred percent out of me. Cause he gave it all on the T when he let it bleed. So what is you saying to me? You just insecure about the love that turned me to a beast. I take a step and I ain't turning back. He made me first cause I know that I'm last. I ain't got time for no thing in the past. Run from it first and then I react. Hands off me. Don't hold me. Get it jumping like a trampoline. All truth ain't no trolling. We in good hands, no folding. They say you ain't about it. Tell them that you finna make it, but they doubt it. But God did it. But you rose like the flower. Tell me what it's like to live with superpowers. I don't know, but I'ma get it. I'ma get it. I'ma 